Hey guys. It's Zung and Robo <laughs> Guys. Allo. Man. <laughs> Dang it, Grandpa. Stan getting rump. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, what a way to start. Wait, what just happened? Oh, oh no, oh no. Dung and Rumpa, here we go, here we go. Not, what, 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 what? I'm not enjoying this. OBS, OBS hates me. Got it, OBS hates me. Um, oh, the num okay, okay. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Whoosh. Yeah, no. Let's, 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 let's ignore that that happened. How is everybody today? I see Hallander. I see Ello. Here we go. You had a great day? I'm so happy you had a great day. I should add a command for the puzzle instead of just pinning it like that. Hmm. I just had that thought. Anywho, we just finished the trial from case two or chapter two or whatever you want to call it. Is the extension not coming up? Yeah, indeed. It, it, it's a fun one today. At least I think so. I know I shouldn't cry. But... I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Getting out of here... Anytime soon? It's impossible. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to. Ooh, owie. Donuts. I need to eat some donuts. That'll cheer me up. See, she's, she's... I feel the same way. Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream-filled donut holds, molasadas? Okay. Oh, God of donuts, I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. Me, yup, yup, me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. Huh? Huh? What's that sound? Hmm. It sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. But I'm super scared, but is is someone there? <gasps> A next generation legend, Stan Tall Galactic Hero. <laughs> The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. Everyone met up in the dining hall, just like always. And I expected it to start like that like any other day. That's what I expected, but the return Allo Right? Uh. Today's count kinda sucks, huh? Toko and Byakuya still refuse to show up. Um. And I haven't seen Miss Asahina anywhere. Hmm. She said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Oh. 
That is rather unusual for her. Normally, she is so full of energy. Mm. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So then... So, it's just the seven of us then? It looks that way. How about that? It's times like these where the committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang. Impossible. Or not. Taka hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. One look at his face showed he hadn't slept a wink last night. It must be because of Mondo. The two of them became so close, and then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro. And then having to watch Mondo get punished, and nothing he could do about it? I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. Well, so I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found a way out, and we have no idea if help's ever gonna come. <laughs> It's now I'm all like... depressed just thinking about it. <laughs> we simply have to make the best of things. To do our best to get along and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. That is the only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? Well... Here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, our every need is seen to. Why are you dissatisfied? In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Is that okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence? As society grows, so does its perversion. In which case, is our current situation not... <laughs> Demon Angel, Pretty Pudgy Princess! Huh? Here we go! Maggie, the drill shop owner, the bunny-eared Amazon cat girl dog boy, Robo Justice the Galactic King! And... and... <laughs> what I mean is there's no 2D here! There is nothing to be done. The mastermind put such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? Okay, well... Anyway, since Taka's like... catatonic... <laughs> As the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. So, we're all gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching? I'm right, right? Well, I mean, since the class trial's over and all, perhaps there should be new places for us to investigate. So, yes, Advance Warrior. Hmm. Yeah, that's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well then. Then once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> there may well be a discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our life here. You told your friend we were playing Smasher Press with Shadow Earth. Oh no. Uh oh. Um... Uh, no, the point is to look for clues. His exact response was, y'all need Jesus. Jesus or a hot anime, babe. Maybe both. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. You called for me and so I appear. What? Ah, nobody called for you. Uh, um. What the... How come it's Genocide Jill and not Toko? Yes! God, this place is just amazing! Finally, a place I can just be my murderous self! Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings! No more hiding in a cave for me! Uh -huh. Plus, I have another battle to fight! The whole killer with a split personality thing is so overdone! I gotta destroy that stereotype! You can't do <laughs> I mean, I don't really care. I'll fight all day and all night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Uh, um. But you are a killer with a split personality. <laughs> if she weren't here, my chances of survival would go up at least 10%. Uh -huh. 
Come on! You gotta back me up here! Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up! <laughs> well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right. Let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> so we were forced to eat breakfast with a murderer, and after our much needed but very annoying meal, we set to work looking around the school. Oh boy, we got lots of things to click on now that we're in chapter 3. Make sure we get all those mono mono coins. is everybody today? Ooh, we're forgetting how to play the game today. You miss Shihiro? I feel that. Lots of clicking. Lots of clicking. Why do you continue watching this? Um, because it's like the scene of a car crash. It's horrifying and yet you can't look away. Oh, that one, that one actually had new flavor text. The battle the two of them had here played its own part in what happened. Just stop it. There's no point in thinking about it now. You're going to the gym after work? Sounds nice. Kyoko? She's Kyokoing. We're gonna uh, just keep moving ahead here and do the searching part. Let's go, let's go. Not where I wanted to go. I always forget it's like this. third floor of Hope's Peak Academy. I wonder what we're going to find this time. What's up here? Yet another battle plate. Guess we shouldn't expect to find an open window anywhere. Ha 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 ha! No joke, no joke. More cameras. More monitors. Looks like we just have a lot of lurkers tonight. I feel that. What's tonight's puzzle? Why don't you go to the Puzzle Picks page and find out? 
So in the end... The windows up here are also barred with metal plates. Not surprising, I suppose. So, es so escape still looks impossible. <sighs> but I'd better check all the other metal plates again, just to be sure. You're on your phone? I mean, you can still see what it is. More metal? Hey look, just as many coins as there are original Pokemon. Must click on everything. Anybody got any input on what we might find up here? I see one door. I see... Two doors. I see stairs to the fourth floor. You're gonna vomit. <laughs> so there's still at least one more floor. Ah, five. It's very funny, but it's screwed up. It is screwed up, I know. This is the physics lab. It's less like a classroom and more like some kind of research institute. Hey, Taka, don't you think this place is some kind of research institute? Still no reaction. We are gaming, Halander. Welcome in. This machine obviously has some kind of purpose, but I don't know anything about physics to begin with, so I wouldn't have a clue where to start with this. Oh, this is... It's a digital camera. It's got some weird anime style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but looks like it still turns on just fine. Yep, still works. I should show the others later. Poor Taka, poor Taka. What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! Watch out! Wh what? <gasps> what? You want to do some quantum leaping? Huh? <laughs> That's a time machine. Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope's Peak. Break is almost over now. Well, I'm glad you spent it with us. Monokuma. <laughs> the ultimate physicist. Although, they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. A time machine. Seriously? So, it can go back in time? Okay then. Let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can... This time I'll stop Mondo for sure! <laughs> oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. <laughs> one minute? What? Huh? You sound disappointed. Hmm. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as a time machine. What? Hey, um... Honestly, it's just an air purifier. Air purifier? In other words, it can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you could even live on Mars. But what with the discombobulating gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably don't want to live on Mars. You guys? Anyway, this machine is the reason you guys all have this delicious air. So don't go messing with it. You break it, and it's your butt. Ba 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 ba
this huge thing is just an air purifier? And more than that. Oh, poor Taka. To go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. God damn you. Manakumo. This is the equipment room. It's super disorganized, and there's a storage chemical smell in the air. Oh, a strange chemical smell in the air. Uh -huh. <gasps> this place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of formaldehyde is almost unbearable. I'm getting seriously it's so tempting. Uh -huh. I just want to dunk myself right in it. Of course, Genocide Jack likes it. That just goes to show how disgusting it really is. <laughs> Monitor. You forgot about this? <laughs> Pendulum, wheels, rail segments, all the equipment is scattered all over. They're all covered in dust, too. They obviously haven't been used in a long time. This is a tarp. There isn't anything strange about it. Seems perfectly ordinary to me. Just thinking about it makes me ah. Uh... Oh wait, I think there was still more to hear. There might have still been. Hold on. Yeah, there's still a monitor. And this thing. They must use these for physics experiments and stuff. There's materials, pulleys, steel plates, magnets, and all kinds of stuff I don't even recognize. to the next room. At first glance, this looks like any normal art room. But something about it seems off. Or multiple somethings? <laughs> well, well, look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches that artistic itch of mine. Art supplies, of course, but they've also collected all kinds of sculpting tools. So, Hifumi, do you like Hifumi? Do you like sculptures and figurines and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so that's okay. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I am a fan of Charin, Charinbo, Pumpkinhead, and I especially admire anything that Saburo. Rapongi makes. Char and Bo's ability to express the movement of muscles is exquisite, as seen in his Mama Cat series. Why is he like this? I don't know, Aloe. Why? Why? Hi, colors. Welcome in. Pumpkinhead is like a little sculptor fairy, representing this century's greatest quality. Saburo Rapongi, meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Musume series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. But one of your Elite is missing? You know nothing! Well, the Elite Three just sounds stupid now, doesn't it? 
Yes, indeed. Besides, that empty seat rightly belongs to me. <laughs> it begins. Today begins my reign as the legendary ruler of the next century. Why does Bro look like the monkey from that monkey ball game? Yo, colors. Who will give in to the instinct today? Only time will tell, Semi. Welcome in. Well, good luck with that. This is a statue of Neo. I have never really heard of anyone using a Neo stature for draw life drawing class or whatever. That's the locker back here. It's a locker, but it doesn't seem like there's anything inside. My boy, he ate the ball. Lol. It's a Venus statue. Yep, definitely very art roomish. Not AI AI? What? I I? What? Even here in the art room, there's a monitor. There are paintings lining the walls. Is this really art? Just looks like a bunch of crappy graffiti to me. More camera. Is this a statue of Monokuma? Who would ever want to make something like this? Still, the quality is surprising. This is the repository that's attached to the art room. It used to store different artsy things. Who would build a statue to honor Monokuma? Hmm, I wonder. What? What's this? <laughs> Puts away your tools, aloe. There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture? But as I stretch my hand out to pick it up, almost as if on its own, my hand froze. Huh? What I saw in that picture was Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo. And they were smiling? What is this? Questions started racing through my head one after the other. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where'd the camera? Where's the camera they used? How'd they get it developed? And in the picture, the window in the classroom. There's no metal plate covering it. Which must mean, wherever this picture was taken, it wasn't here at Hope's Peak. But there was no time to find an answer. All the questions floating around my head were quickly drowned out by... That's mine! back. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me take a quick drink here. Hmm. Ooh. Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo, and any chance I had at answers evaporated. Ha! You peeked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? Isn't that wonderful? They were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped the page right out of the book of you. What's going on with that picture? Do you know? <laughs> I'm not telling you nothing. Why can't you give me a straight answer? Never mind. I don't even know why I bothered asking. Okay, we got this. There's wooden mallets hanging on the wall. If I had to guess, I'd say they they use them for making sculptures. A dolly. They must use it to move all these statues around. And of course, there's a monitor in here too. The mastermind is thorough, if nothing else. There's not much point in worrying about it. Nice. <laughs> Well, 
we'll uh, go gambling here in a minute. Sure to draw wing it to show up. It would seem... So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, looks like there's a physics lab and an art room. Whew. I also found a huge machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. Indeed, Kyoko. Let's go talk to... Oh, he's downstairs before. So this is let's see a recreation room a place for students to come and relax I never would have imagined a school having a place like this <laughs> well no normal school would it has a fellow shogi even a dartboard and pool table and look at this they have even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines isn't it wonderful those will certainly be, be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Listen up! Ring, ring, ring! Hello there! Allow me to expound! We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, basketball, science, all kinds of magazines! Oh, but nothing dirty! This is a school after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags! So then... And will you be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Too bad! Sorry! No can do! Even if I wanted to, right now magazines are kinda... Kinda what? Watch out! Oops! Nothing! Never mind! No, no, no! Anyway, that's it for my expandation! Bye-bye! <laughs> what he just said... I know, right? It bothers me too. Most unfortunate. Life here would be that much nicer if he could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. It's been like 12 years since you had a Lego set and actually completed it. Colors, I'm not allowed to buy Legos because I spend too much money. R really? Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff and it was all strange, but I don't know if any of it was an actual clue. I'm just getting more and more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head to the dining hall. You're starting back small, but the bigger sets aren't ready for the future. Hmm. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Ah! Hina? I tried to talk to her, but my voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Hina. Huh? I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Meow meow, welcome in Neo Data. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looks really uncomfortable. Hina, are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped a lot. You do love those donuts. Hmm. But wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well... My stomach ache kind of made me hungry. So, you know... <laughs> you bought a helicopter Lego set and completed it in the span of 18 minutes? Yeah, that's again why I spend way too much money on Legos. <laughs> I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Hmm. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Miss mm. Asahina is pretty much the same, it looks like. Just a second! Hey, you of all people don't have any room to talk. Well, anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. Besides that, you! Huh? <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge! What the heck? Did you convince them to double up on milk production? Bastard! Stay away from her, fiend. Uh, um... Anyway, first things first. We should talk about what we found. Right, Taka? Still not then. <laughs> right. Hmm. 
How many hmms did they make for that? Make for Hifumi? That was like five. Yeah, I know, Neo. It's no use. Hmm. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Biaki a little while ago. Uh, what? You so big. Where? Where was he? Wh what? You're kind of scaring me. Uh, where was he? Uh, um. He was in the locker room. He just had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. No, 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 no! So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me! <laughs> huh? She just ran off. Is she okay? <laughs> we should not concern ourselves with her. Correct. There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. You just watched a video that scared you for three years? Emerald, are you okay? In the middle of the room, there was a much bigger... It was There was a machine much bigger than anything I've ever seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? What's something like that doing here? Mm. Is the device really that big? Hmm. I really don't get it. Uh, uh. Do not look up giraffe videos on YouTube. Allo. 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 Giraffe videos, huh? I don't think you want to know what it was. It was super gross. Okay. So, um... Um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Could it be? It didn't happen to be a donut related discovery, did it? Hmm. What does that even mean? That's right. Never mind. It's about the nurse's office. Remember, there's one on the first floor, right? Well, I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then. Did you find any protein in there? Or even vitamin supplements would be fine. Hmm. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. I see. That's disappointing. Aww. It is disappointing. Like, the end of the world is already here. I'm not sure it's that disappointing. Hmm. I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows in the halls and the rooms were blocked off. <sighs> I wish they'd give this a rest already for serious. Give me back my bright blue sky. <laughs> Just forget about it. Impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. <sighs> Just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them budged. So in the end... It would seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. I see. Mm -hmm. There was an art room on the third floor, and it had all kinds of gear. You can't be here for long because you're going on a trip tomorrow? Ooh, what kind of trip are you going on, Emerald? <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. Oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me. I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. Hmm, a digital camera. That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well, then, let's see it. What the heck? This thing's just like a kid's toy. It looks like it could store, like, five pictures, maybe. It, it doesn't even have a timer or anything. Sasha-chan, hello, welcome in. Well, on top of that, its appearance seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. You know nothing! Rude! She's not strange, she's Princess Piggles from Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess! Oh, you recognize this, Hifumi? <laughs> of course I recognize it! It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention! You have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? <laughs> Wait, that's my camera! What? Damnation! Where did you find it? In the physics lab. 
It's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it on the first day along with my phone. Let's see. Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? However... Eh, but look at it. What? It got all messed up. Like, when someone steals a sticker from your collection, or you buy a second-hand shirt. Well, that's it. Huh? That's it? <sighs> it's not in mint condition. I don't need it anymore. But weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> then, may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Hmm. Well, I can't act really imagine any of us are gonna need to take pictures or whatever. Yeah, true. Hmm. Uh, so didn't mean to click on her again. Aww. We can get into the nurse's office, but there are no protein supplements or anything. Too bad. Uh, what was I supposed to do next? Oh, let him continue talking, mm -hmm. probably. Who's your avatar today, Neo? Who did you get? Who did you get? Who did you get? Uh, how does this always happen to you? Uh, who do you want to be? I'll just pick you somebody. There, you can have that one. You don't know random? Well, there you go. Random. Aurelius, hi! You might find something... Uh... You might... Fun something for it costs OF. Uh huh, uh huh. Hi, Aurelius. Is that Gangster Monokuma? That's Kurokuma. You'll find out more about him in the next game. YouTube just started glitching and it unsubscribed you from everything, and there's an error when you try to subscribe and like videos. Maybe you should try logging out and logging back in again. Oh, that comment was for Celeste with the camera. Lol. Gangster Monokuma. Yeah. By the way, um, Allo, did you see that we saw the, uh, the gray guy last, last, uh, stream? You get memed on. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't watch all the anime, then I'll make all the anime. <laughs> I will hold on to the digital camera. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Uh, who was I supposed to talk to? Could it be? Yeah, I totally screwed Biakia over. I think Biakia knew exactly what he was doing. He probably went to the boys' locker room specifically, so she couldn't bother him. Uh, oh, I didn't talk to you. <laughs> there is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room on the third floor. I have no doubt our student life will here will be even more enjoyable because of it. You literally did everything logging out, deleting the app, still glitching? Interesting. Yeah, yeah, Allo. Uh, naked guy from Honorable Mentions. Do you know who he turns out to be, Allo? <laughs> mm hmm. Will someone join me in a game of Othello sometime? Okay, I've heard what everyone else has to say. So now it's my turn. Hey, um, can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently Monokuma took it. A weird picture? You mean, like, dirty? No, not that kind of weird. It was... A picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro all together. Why? Those three. And the three of them were laughing. Oh. Um... It showed them three of them together laughing? When could it have been taken? 
And there's more. Monokuma's OnlyFans Dunley. Oh, Aloe. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well, then. Then the picture wasn't taken here. Let's see. But I don't recall anything about them knowing each other before coming to this school. Well, you probably just imagined it. Monokuma cast a spell on you. No, I saw it. I'm telling you. But if it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got here... How about that? I bet they're still alive. They left the school and then took that picture. Is that right? That's impossible. After all, we saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Monokuma killed Junko, and then there's Sayaka. That wasn't an illusion. It was real, I'm sure of it. They all died, so there's no way any of them are still alive. So we have to figure out when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Oh wait, speaking of the honorable mentions video, Aurelius, are you still here? Yes, no, maybe so. You gotta go now, you've been procrastinating packing all day. Have fun, Emerald, and I hope your trip is fabulous. <clears throat> Hopefully your YouTube fixes soon, but honestly, I think YouTube's just freaking out right now because it's telling me that I have zero viewers, so. And I know that there's at least a few of you in here. So YouTube's on the fritz again. I don't think we ever told Aurelius about the tarantula thing, Allo. Semi-original guy, you saw... Seven. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, literally, right now, YouTube Studio is telling me I have zero concurrent viewers with zero chat rate. <laughs> he's gotta know. You think he does? I don't know if he's still here or not. Well, we just gotta remember to catch him. You know, we should post the clip on the Discord for him. That'll probably work. Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forged? Is that all there is to it? <sighs> Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bull trap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right. But more importantly. <laughs> On another topic, there is something that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. <laughs> there is also something that has been bothering me. What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually, it's about Tina. Huh? What? Me? <laughs> you said that your stomach hurt, didn't you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? It varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It's called a tell, something you can't hide, no matter how hard you try. Is that okay? Whenever Hina lies, the tip of her nose gets just a bit longer. Huh? What? For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Oh. But your reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. Oh! That, that's no fair. <laughs> if you are going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Be honest, were you lying about your stomach ache? Yes. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? That's it. Are you I'm feeling sure guilty it. about something? Just a second. No, that that's not it at all. But... It's just... I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? Calling her a liar and a big nose all in one statement. A semi. Sorry. You caught it. To, 
To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because... Even if I came in and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. The truth? Well... I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. A ghost? You mean like, that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? But I mean, ghosts are... What the heck? See? I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but... Hina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. So, can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura, then okay, I'll tell you. So, um... It happened last night. I was in bed, but I couldn't sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up till now. I ended up just getting more upset. So, to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donuts. Hey, yo, uh-huh, uh-huh. Huh? Donuts again? Well, she's somehow the ultimate swimmer with increased milk production, as Togo would put it. Hello, Honestly. yeah. And you ignored the rule regarding nighttime. Sorry. I know, sorry. I feel really bad about that. I know. Anyway, please continue. But... Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. How you look after streaming? Hmm. Hello. Where's the art? But then I started hearing a strange sound. Pickles World Brian. YouTube is glitched. It's really bad today. Well. It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse. Allo looking sus. You can't even like w you can't even like the stream. It's okay. I get it. It's telling me I have zero viewers right now. I appreciate you being here though. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. And I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There's no doubt what it was. It was Chihiro. Say what? Ah! Oh no! No way! A g g ghost? Honestly, it is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just in case, in, just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born from your weakened mental state. Well then, then all we have to do is go see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Sihina saw. <sighs> it is a waste of time. He looks like a Discord mod. The guy in glasses, Ifumi. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? Oh. That's because he probably is one? He probably is one. What? You're gonna go and try and see a g g ghost? Is that really a good idea? It might put a co curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please. I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. Hey. What are you going to do, Celeste? There is nothing to be done. I suppose I have no choice. Ghost hunting time, indeed. He runs 13 servers at once. Mm. How about you, Mr. Ishimaru? Are you gonna wait here? Oh. Um. I guess that's a yes. So, um. It was right here. I saw it right here in the dressing room. Uh, um. Ugh. I'm getting goosebumps. Come on. Come on. La la. Cthulhu Photogen. Please. Shut up. What if he actually shows up? Hina. Hina, where was it you saw Chihiro's ghost? Well... I heard a sound, and when I opened the locker... I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. Um, is this the locker? There was something in here. You'd love to make a game like this one day? Aloe, I will play the f ever-living fuck out of it. 
you're gonna need to like remake the game because I'm gonna whoop you're gonna like need to remake the game because I'm gonna crash the server you posted on inside the locker is Aurelius Aurelius you're lurking great hey hey did you hear that we're trying to say something to you or If Cthulhu does show up, Monokuma versus Cthulhu would be interesting. You're literally looking at RPG Maker tutorials. Okay, so Aurelius, while I've got you for like a second. So you know how you put the chat command in for tr the Tarantula song, Aurelius? Like, this one. And it pops up and it brings a song. Oh, did we lose him? Did we lose him? Okay, so I was playing Infinite Dream, right? And I'm going to have to make like a whole short out of it. But after you added that command to the stream, we went and fought a boss in Infinite Dream that had that as its theme song. The boss was in the game beforehand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, what are the... What? I swear that Aloe, like, past Aloe knew that I was going to play this game. Because that's not the only time, though. You had a fucking Danganronpa bit in there. And I was playing, I'm already playing Danganronpa on the channel. Like, but I wasn't when I started playing Infinite Dream. Like, what the heck, Aloe? How? It all makes sense. No, I, you, you, you made the game so that I would play it on YouTube. That's my current headcanon. Everything happens for a reason. Anywho, adding this to the ID iceberg, yeah, yeah. And like, my, my thing is it's not the only Easter egg or like thing that's been included that was something I was super interested in. You're brain blasting me? I can't, <laughs> actually brain blasting, you can't do this to me right now. <laughs> Aloe, <laughs> Aloe has better predictions than Hero. No, Aloe just had like, uh, 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 oh, had like future sight or something. Anywho, Danganronpa, a laptop, what's something like that doing here? Hey, I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right. I saw it in the library before. It looks like a laptop. Insane world building moment. Yeah. The laptop looks pretty old, and it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. Neko, who is Hero? Hero is... the tall one that I gave the surfer accent. It's broken, huh? Too bad. But how did the laptop from get from the library to here? It would seem... And I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. Who's your favorite? Old oh, he's the ultimate clairvoyant. Oh no! Hello! Yo, it's your favorite! He's your favorite! And the ultimate clairvoyant, Hero sent you a dream of the future. Mmm, mmm. Yeah, yeah, there's the joke. Nice joke, Neo. That was five head. Huh? But I thought it was broken. Hmm. I would bet that Chihiro fixed it. <clears throat> After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps... More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green knight, yes? 
surely you do not respect the light of the monitor for a ghost. <laughs> I am surprised you are able to dress yourself in the morning. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. If I had the love's clueless girl's attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. Well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? Hey, come on. It's okay. I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Hmm. You're yiking out, yo, Allo. You know, I like Hero, but I, th I think I like Hero's mom better. Which is a character in Ultra Despair Girl, so I can't wait till we get to play that. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I'd spotted a gray alien, but it turned out to be a tadpole. Yeah, Hero's mom's actually an Ultra Despair Girl's aloe. What are you saying? Don't compare what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm giving that little bit out as like a spoiler, but I'm not telling you anything else about her. Don't be mean. I was just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? But listen, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing here? In other words... <laughs> Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. <laughs> Maybe someone hid it in here. But... If that's the case, we found it pretty easy. Wrong. Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. Haven't you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. There's a difference. There's no surveillance camera. Yes, it's me. Precisely. There's no camera in here, which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Hmm. So you're hmm. saying someone hmm. put the laptop here hmm. so the mastermind wouldn't know about it. It's true. And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro, shining pale green. Hey. I think it would be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. <laughs> it's just like Kyoko said. The display isn't on, but the laptop definitely has power. So then, first of all, we have to wake it up. Right. I started hitting random buttons on the keyboard, and the display instantly began to glow a pale green. Even though that's definitely blue. There was a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Hey. There, the icon on the far left. What is it? It says, Alter Ego? Hmm. Alter Ego? Literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Could you let me see it, Makoto? With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over to the alter ego icon, and when she double-clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark. And then... A voice spoke to us. You really came! Master, you're here! Chihiro's face appeared, taking up the entire display. Oh, it's a no! ghost! Buddha and sweet baby Jesus, save me! Calm down. Calm down, it's not a ghost. What? what? Huh? Um, then what is it? Anyway. I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. Kyoko began to type, hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then... Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Jesus and sweet baby Buddha. <laughs> I always get so embarrassed introducing myself. That voice, the tone and everything. Mm. It's Chihiro. I knew it. Alter Ego. I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. AI program? That's right. It's how Chihiro earned his title of Ultimate Programmer. The AI lives in a computer, and by repeating different tasks, it gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. 
the return. Apparently, Chihiro used a support vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. Eventually, he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Support vector machine? Reinforcement learning. It's true. To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. Um, if you want to know more, that's it. just I'm Google sure it, okay? It. In other words. But if this AI continues to grow, it will become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. Hmm. And that is why it is called Alter Ego? A fine choice then, I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans work. <laughs> if you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your alter ego. I see. A second, perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what Shihiro created. That's alter ego. Kyoko, how do you know so much about this? Are you okay with this? Anyway, he fixed the broken laptop and put his own program on there. That is what this means, yes. Raises her like a Digimon, Allo. Allo based. Then he brought the machine to this dressing room, where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> mm, but you know, all this about master and whatnot. Yes, yes. <laughs> I believe I'm on fire. Huh? I thought you were only into 2D. Da -da 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 -da! This is the most excellent 2D possible! Huh? But he's a guy. And also a computer program. I feel as if... That aspect is no problem. I mean... That aspect? Anyway... Let's talk to him a little more. Kyoko typed away rhythmically. How much do you know about what's going on? Master. Only gave me a general idea. Do not let bro find out about character AI. Mm, mm, mm. Allo. I have a friend who makes bots. And they're like really good too. Well. But I do know that things have been become very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. That's insane. Send you the link. Yeah, sure. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? You have a friend who makes... Ganis? That's well. Are you asking what Master had planned for me? Well, he wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored on this laptop. Um. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. Oh. I mean, Allo makes games. So it's taking me a little longer than I thought. Master. But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means they must contain some important secret. Taping one-handed, sorry, eating dinner. Uh-huh, eating dinner. Salad is good, though. For example, perhaps the secret of this school. Game devs are cool and awesome. I agree, Allo. While I was busily struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked her next question. How much longer until everything's unlocked? That's right. Um, it's gonna be a while. Leave it to me. But I'm definitely gonna do it, so you can just leave it to me. You can take a picture right now. Mm -hmm. I see. So, because of how long it would take, he designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. Buffalo chicken? Mm. <laughs> Smart. It also means that the work remains uninterrupted, even after his death. Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up, but be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. That's right. Well. Don't worry. I've got a secret plan already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam, so if anyone suspicious shows up, I'll just scream for help real loud. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, indeed. That is fine during the day, but nighttime is a concern. 
Huh? Why? Are you okay with this? Have you forgotten? All our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants. But we won't hear a thing. You have plenty of food pics you can send here, actually? Allo. Listen, I know that it's called the Food Picks channel, but it, at this point, spicy food is... I can't handle spicy food. Unfortunately. But in all actuality, we all know that's the food, um... Enter word here, channel. Um... Okay, then. How about once it's nighttime, we each take turns guarding the dressing room? Boom. Business? You've been called whiter than a ghost by your cousins, but you handle way more heat than them. You're part Mexican, by the by. Um... I'm really, really... Like, black pepper is spicy sort of thing. You won't be modding today. That means you're going to be busy. Aww. It's going to get real P word in there. All right. Oh, no. I am... Um, I'm actually a full quarter Lebanese, even though like I'm really, really, really white. Um, and... I just can't. I can't handle any kind of spice. None at all. Alice says, It's okay, Cryo. I'm on duty tonight, it seems. Well, I appreciate you being here. It looks like YouTube's back to working, though, almost. Because it's now telling me I've got four viewers. Oh, <laughs> Lebanese people are actually white too and can't handle s Yeah, yeah, I know. Most of your IRL friends are Lebanese, very pale. You know, really, that makes me feel better. I didn't really know that side of my family. Honestly, that all makes me feel better. Like, I know that that side of my family really likes, like, grape leaves and, and cabbage rolls, so I guess I shouldn't really be surprised. And I do love tomatoes, like, a lot. Like, ridiculously love tomatoes. They put banana peppers in the salad. That Actually, I do like banana peppers. After the donut ranking, you'll do a pepper ranking? Hello, yo. So, I know you guys were talking about masks the other day for donut review. You know way too many Lebanese Arabic insults, Aurelius. Let's not come in my chat with that, okay? Um... But, Allo, I was thinking you should just make a dinosaur mask. Like, Godzilla style. You're gonna use a Kitsune mask? Oh, okay. Uh, I, was, I was thinking, like, arts and crafts, paper mache, Godzilla mask. <laughs> That's fire? Yay! Yay! <laughs> you could make a fire one, too, you bet. I bet you could. You're, like, so artsy. <laughs> okay. Then how about once it's nighttime, we each take turns guarding the dressing room? However, there's a good chance the mastermind would notice us all going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then what can we do? So then. Once nighttime comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. Then there's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. But... If you leave your door open all night, then... It's true. There's a chance I may become a victim myself. I know. Your best friend says that she's actually super white, German, Italian, American, all white, so she can't handle spices. You're gonna make her if you somehow end up married? Listen, Neo, the, the trick to that, because Cryo is a spice king. He loves his spicy food. The trick is that... For that is to learn how to add spice afterwards or for like my case i i dish my bowl out and then i add spice for him and the boys ivy what is up you're gonna lurk this <sighs> got homework get that homework done you got this you posted some goodies up in there i'll have to look later there's a chance i may become a victim myself i know however but i'm not as weak as you may think I wouldn't go down without a fight, I assure you. There was an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. Thanks for the lurky lurks. 
she was totally confident she would be okay. That confidence was something similar to Byakuya's tone, but at the same time, different. Yeah, it had an entirely different feel, for sure. Like, someone who'd been dropped onto a battlefield versus someone who'd been born on a battlefield. I felt like that was the fundamental difference. I was pulled out of my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. So, um... Would you mind if I asked a few questions? Um... I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but... Is Master... For a split second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do. You're gonna build up spice pepper, crushed red pepper, habanero, you don't know after that? That's all mild? Oh, no, no, uh-uh. See, I'd get sick. Sometimes for non-spice-tolerating people, it's not just about the flavor, it's that you actually get sick with it. But she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, direct. Chihiro is dead. Wando killed him. Okay, then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive this situation were very low. So, I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> Somehow, like... I kind of feel sorry for her. Um... I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> it is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. What? Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. How did you get 197 people in your basement? What the heck, Ivy? And then Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Uh. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye-bye. The AI seemed totally different from when we'd first arrived. He seemed upbeat. Was it just because he was following his programming? Or could he have actually been worried about us? Could it be? Um, what's wrong, Hero? You know? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Look, if she starts throwing up because of it, you'll stop. No, Neo, like for me, it's like actually, um, like stomach problems. Like it's very painful for me to eat spicy food. I know it's different for everybody, but it could be, you know? You got 197 so followers on flat? What's flat, Ivy? Neo, I think you're taking things in a completely fantastical uh, direction. Then we could call for help from the outside. Hmm. But this is just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Well? Well, if we do take it out of here and find somewhere that does have online access... <laughs> that's way too dangerous. The mastermind would find out in no time. Uh, um... Oh yeah, true. Indeed. This is no time for taking needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the file analysis. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Hmm. This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Nico, fantastical is more interesting than normal. That's eh, fair. It's jokes, more inside jokes, you'll be honest. Okay. Of course. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? So, should we get going? How is uh, the rest of Classy stream, Nico? It's true. Indeed. <sighs> Goodbye. We'll be back, I promise. <sighs> Come on, Hifumi. Let's go. I suppose. Okay. And we all left the dressing room. As soon as we were out in the hall, Hina let out a joyful shout. <laughs> Isn't this awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? And as if he'd been waiting for his cue. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Hina has gained enough experience to level up. What's the matter? So what was this awesome something? Monokuma. What? 
the heck? You guys all seem in remarkably good spirits. Did something happen? You got named after a cow? <laughs> or you got a cow named after you? Flats, the music making website you use? Let's go, Ivy. Seven. Uh huh. You guys all seem in a remarkably good spirits. Did something good happen? No, nothing in particular. <laughs> oh, keeping secrets? No fair. I demand an exclusive interview. <laughs> denied, denied, super denied. What the heck? Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it. Say what? Do it? You mean like do it, do it? Huh? Wait, what? What do you mean do it, do it? This it is guy. this scene, Neo. Ew, gross. You said do it. Just the worst. What? You said it first. They named you the cow? What? 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 <laughs> we were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We have not had a chance to relax in some time. Huh? Huh? <sighs> but unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. <laughs> so we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. Kino won the match for us, and that is why we are all so pleased. Huh? Y yeah, that's right. You don't like this? Speaking of which... <laughs> Okay, boys, why don't you head back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice, long bath. Hey, come on! Aw, oh, jeez. What are you gonna do, right? We lost fair and square. <laughs> oh, well, ladies, shall we go? The do it, yeah. <laughs> Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with the ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and the other girls headed back into the dressing room. Oh. Um. um damnation! Nuts and damn it, we totally have lost. Another day without getting to take my very first bath here. Uh, um... Yeah, but tomorrow for sure. You'll definitely get that bath tomorrow. Okay, so should we head back to the dining hall now? Hey! Hold on! Hey! Hey! Something strange here. Very strange! Celeste, if it was a match of rock, paper, scissors, why wouldn't you do it, Miss Gambling Queen? Because she was the anchor, and Hina just won the first round quicker than, you know. They didn't have to get to the anchor. Strange, what do you mean? <gasps> What's strange is, it's the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek. Huh? <laughs> nah, that's... You're absolutely right! <sighs> I thought you were all about the 2D. <laughs> All of you just need to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. It's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. I was forced to ask myself, should I sneak into the bathhouse like Monokuma said? Or just quietly go back to the dining hall? So, guys, remember before how I told you that there was an item I needed? That's what this is. That's what that was for. Okay, let's go. With the man's fantasy burning in my chest, I decided to head back to the bathhouse. Uh huh. Poo hoo hoo. Have fun in your man's fantasy. <laughs> Have a smashing good time. We opened the door to the dressing room, silent as death, and peeked inside. It looked like the girls had already finished changing and gone into the bathhouse. This had all started as a lie, but apparently they decided to go in for real. Making sure it was empty, we quietly made our way into the dressing room. The Forbidden Land. But... So they really are taking a bath. Is this what Celeste meant about lying convincingly? Hmm. Mr. Hakure, Hagakure, please refrain from pointless whispering. We're deep in enemy territory here. <laughs> Just up ahead is the bathhouse. There awaits a dazzling passion. Smash that, go that good time real good. <laughs> Alarms are going off in your head, Ivy. She would be the yeah. She would be the ace in the hole. Prepare for Kyoko's largest size. <laughs> <laughs> Miss 
Mr. Nyagi. You're on point. For serious. Be careful. Don't get us caught. If Ogre finds us, we'll be meeting up with Hades in no time. I placed my hand on the door leading into the bathhouse. I opened it gently, inch by inch. Are you wrong? Ky Kyoko's is pretty big. Oof. I maneuvered my hand like a master craftsman to avoid making even the slightest sound. A little further. A little further. And then... On the other side of the thick, rising steam, I saw... How'd we all enjoy our little sneak peek? <laughs> Look, I don't ask for much. So, Anamu? <laughs> I'm not sure how to put it, but... I always feel refreshed after a job well done. <laughs> a 3D body isn't so bad in its nude state, I suppose. Could it be? But still, I just can't believe it. Like, for serious. Kyoko definitely saw us, right? Nomi Von Vein, lovely. Indeed, lovely, lovely. I hope she saw you. That's the way, Allo. Because Kyoko would be a real, like, man, man's girl, and she definitely wouldn't tell on you. Shh. Why? Because women are beautiful. And we're all just a little thirsty, Ivy. How about that? Ogre's a girl? Goodness gracious. <laughs> Was this really okay? Well, I look too, so I guess I'm gonna have to say yes. Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing of busy voices growing louder. The girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. You got it! Aw, oh, man, what a nice bath! Women, yeah, right, Aurelius? This is fine. Getting the, a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was a true pleasure. Indeed. Heck, Kyoko would be like, take a picture, I'll hide it for you when you don't need it. Of course. Too bad Celeste had the camera. Normally, after a long bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee, but... <laughs> Sorry, no time for that. So in the end... That's what I figured. Huh? Huh? Actually... We were just saying in the bath how it was about time for you to get up to something. Because... After seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let it slap that last for long. Hmm. You're all so terrible to me. My entire existence! Everyone's so cold and mean, even after I got presents for all of you. Heck, Kyoko would be like, take a picture. Oh, yeah. No, I already read that. Well, now, well, now, well, now, well, now. Well, have I got your attention? Hoo-hoo-hoo. Then let's head to the gym where your presents await. See ya later. No questions? No dilly-dallying. Get a move on and everything will become clear. Celeste definitely shops at Hot Topic. Yeah, but so do I. Oh. What um... is it? What are you scheming this time? It would seem... He's probably going to repeat the same thing again. Providing us with a motive to get things going. Huh? Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. <sighs> Me either. I'm like, totally traumatized. However... It's okay. We have Alter Ego. I'm sure he'll find something that'll help us. So for now... Correct. We just have to endure it, come what may. With heavy feet, we made our way to the gym. But when we arrived, there was already someone waiting for us. What? To be kept waiting by the likes of you. Rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. Byakuya, did you get here early? <laughs> did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple. Right foot, left foot, right foot. <laughs> the same as always, I see. Her, on the other hand. 
What the heck? Oh, she's back to her Debbie Downer self, huh? Hmm. I heard what sounded like a sneeze, and she was back to her old self. You had to fight Ichigo? Sorry. <laughs> I don't even think Emerald's here, Aurelius. I think they're just lurking. So now she goes from manic to depressive whenever she sneezes? Seems kind of late to add that into the mix. <laughs> what the heck? Why does everyone keep making fun of me? I hope you all win the lottery and get hit by a bus. <laughs> How did that pass over me all, all this time? <clears throat> so this is something that you're, you would never find out if you played the games. Um... You low lead a bot, yeah. Can be useless indeed. So this is something you would never find out if you just played the games or even just watched the anime because it's part of one of the manga. Um, but the day that Makoto Nayegi won the lottery to become the lucky student, it was, I believe it's because someone got hit by a bus. Like, I think that was the, the, the actual reasoning was because somebody got hit by a bus. Um, like, the first winner. Um. Dude, the way that Makoto got put in as the lucky student for this year was really convoluted. It was, like, pure happenstance. Poetic, yeah. Poetic. Oh. So, when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Thanks for the catnip. Yum, 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 yum. Storms can't stay because it's late, but came to give a like. Also, hi, Aurelius. Good night for now. Good night, Storms. Cry out. No. Is that not how it happened? I thought that was... I thought it was because, um... What's-his-face got hit by the bus and decided that he couldn't... Yeah, he does mention it also. Yeah, no, I know. But it's like... I, I remember that it's like you can only know the full story if you read the thing well anyway it looks like everyone's here so then which means yes cryo it's nagito you guys it looks like everyone's here so then let's get started. What? Come on, out with it. What kind of motive have you prepared for us this time? However. <coughs> Whatever this so you would subject us to, we will not break. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We're not gonna lose to you ever again. Come on. <laughs> you don't have to get so defensive. Calm down. I have decided to change things up a bit this time. Up till now. I've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. <laughs> but sometimes you gotta use the sun to light a fire under someone's butt. <laughs> Without further ado, I give you... You thought Makoto got in because he put his application in and it got picked like a lotto? Yeah, so it's not even that he put his application in. It's that he got picked um, through a lotto of every student in the entirety of Japan and only one person got picked, Neo. Um, but the thing is, is that he was not the first person that got picked for this class year. Um, something happened and I'm not sure whether it was because the other person got hit by a bus or like because Makoto got hit. Like there was some really, really convoluted like stuff that happened that was the reason why but i know there was a bus involved so <clears throat> this ten million dollars i've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive very motivating, not gonna lie, not gonna lie, you're not wrong. What do you think? <coughs> it's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wow wow wow, am I right? So that's the motive you prepared, is it? Ten million dollars is... <laughs> it's not nearly enough. It's true. 
When it comes to motives, money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. You could say one thing that happened that's very tragic, some would say horrible. Hmm. Enough to eat for one year! No joke, Cryo. Whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. Hmm. But... What are you saying? There's no way we'd kill each other for money. Of course. She's right. You can't simply purchase a person's life. Uh, um... You can say 10 million or however much. I don't give a crap. For serious. Yeah, they're all right. Whether it's 10 million or any other amount of money. Not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. <laughs> Come on! Stop trying to act tough! I can't wait! I the can't wait! The most important thing is to live a pure and mural communal life! Monokuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage, along with the massive sum of money. Um... There's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? <laughs> Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can't judge others by your own standard. Snowy, heya! You would, Nico? Nico? Capitalism, I agree. Yeah, I feel it. <laughs> yeah, there might be someone here who's having m money problems. <laughs> Personally, I have earned over $1 million from my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. Uh, I'm telling you! Uh, Hifumi, what about you? You know nothing! I am a super popular content creator. I don't have any problem making enough money to buy my cosmics, cos, comics and DVDs. Yeah. Th then, hey, just stop. Pressing others about their personal finances is ugly. <laughs> uh, ugly? <laughs> don't worry. Either way, whatever is going to happen will happen without warning. That is the nature of the scheme. You didn't say anything yet? What do you mean, Neo? Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Sucker queen, absolutely. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug fight. Hmm. It's that time already, huh? Queen or Empress? Oof, oof. I was trying to talk to Nico, Neo, and uh. <coughs> hey. Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my door room, my room door open to make sure nothing happens to alter ego. But just because my door is open, don't assume that will make me an easy target. Because, or the predator may suddenly find itself the prey. Goddess? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sakura is best character, like not best girl, best character. You know? Okay, okay. Let's everyone just head back to our rooms. How about that? And don't think about the whole money thing. Got it? Good. Then let's break. Hmm. How is that? Pretty good, right, Taka? Poor Taka. Hmm. Right. Predator, we need Chris Henson. <laughs> As soon as I went back to my room, I crawled into bed. Money? There's no way that's going to get anyone to kill anyone else. I told myself that, but deep in my heart, I was still troubled. You go into Kyoko's room for a little snuggle and get stabbed in the throat? Sounds about right. After all, I thought the same thing last time about having our secrets revealed. Even if the reason for it seems completely nonsensical, a murder could still happen. That's the lesson we learned. But this time, this time it's different. I'm sure of it. God, please, please what, Allo? Because of the program Chihiro left behind, Alter Ego, we finally have some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, then I'm sure.
kids have it so easy. Because they can put Lil in front of their name. And right off the bat, everyone thinks they're cute. Kyoko would be the one person who can make sure nobody can find her or the body. Hmm. We'll find them. I want everyone to start calling me Lil Monokuma. See? Just by adding that, my cuteness goes up by at least like 10%. Right? Yeah, the whole world doesn't have nearly enough Lils. More Littles will lead to the salvation of the world. Just imagine, little arsonist, little war criminal, little destruction of the environment, little hit and run, little death tax, little great depression. Even the darkest subject can suddenly become brighter. Hey, wing it. Yeah, no, no. And it wasn't gambling. Actually, I was about to Our go gambling. Our are expanding. Ding, ding. I was literally, I said earlier, watch me go gambling and wing it shows up. And literally, like, that's the next thing I'm going to do as soon as the story lets me go. It does sound better. It, he's not wrong. Little Pikachu. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Little war criminal, that's what they used to call you back in the day? Little Evie? Oh, hey, that is cuter, yeah. Good morning, Sakura. Mm. Did you just wake up? Yeah. Mm. Waking up for a breakfast meeting is fine, of course, but getting up a little early is better. You can exercise in your room till nighttime ends. A big meal after working up a sweat is divine. Hey, Makoto. Morning, Makoto. Good morning. You're kind of sweaty. Have you been exercising? That's right. Yep. Me and Sakura were doing our morning workout. Oh, but I didn't break our nighttime promise. I just ran around my room till it ended. Why don't you come with us next time? I don't think I could keep up with you and Sakura. What do you mean you're on a list now? <laughs> you want to hear her workout routine? Little nightmares indeed, Cryo. Huh? Ah, uh, seriously? Uh. Okay, then we can do something in the rec room. I'm not a good at much, but I do know how to play Othello. <laughs> I'm not very good at that either, though. I don't like to think when I'm playing, so... What was well, that phase? Hello. Ah, good morning. Morning. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's a great morning. A morning that has blessed my entire future. Really? It feels like any other morning to me. <laughs> Maybe you can't tell, but my soul is positively overflowing with strawberries today. <laughs> well, I'm off. That was bizarre. I mean, even for him. A woman after your own heart doesn't think just like you? No thoughts, head empty. Could it be? So the people here today are the same as yesterday. Just us seven. Mm. Byakuya and Toko are a lost cause, but... Well... It looks like Taka's decided to stop coming for good, too. <sighs> It's like he's just given up. <laughs> For people wound as tight as he is, when you snap, you snap hard. I wish there was some way to make him feel better. Mm. On another topic, Kyoko, did everything go all right last night? Indeed. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Correct. I went and checked on the laptop a little while ago, and there weren't any problems there either, but... Kyoko seemed to hesitate, but... <sighs> It's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. You must- you get it? Become- You must get fit, become himbo? Lol, wing it? Snap like a Kit Kat. Wait, you guys actually break your Kit Kats apart? You don't just bite it? Anyway... I have to make a new rule. 
Using an alter ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would dear all unwanted attention from the mastermind. Oh! I would have thought that would be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about it? You need a pet wolf. If you have a pet wolf, your boyfriend mineral will become like 10% higher. Interesting, Neo. What is the gun for, wing it? Well. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. There's a song. Yeah, but like, why take the time to break it off? Why not just bite into it? Like, that's so inefficient. Eating Kit Kats like that? That's a good question. Hey. Do you have any thoughts on that, Hifumi? Oh. Um. No, it's just like you said. We all need to be very careful. <laughs> huh? You take a Kit Kat off the others, and then you eat the chocolate off, and then you put the wafers apart and eat the true inside. You put your, the bar in your mouth and suck it. <laughs> Cryo. He does, too. Um, no, I just like to take a big bite. Like, just open up the thing, look at the four bars, and dig out. Om nom nom. <laughs> huh? Whatever, let's just hurry up and eat. We don't have time to stand around flapping our lips. What? What? Jeez, why are you talking like a pissed off drill sergeant all of a sudden? We ate breakfast in a rush, then headed back to our rooms. Let's go gambling! You do the cursed bite? What do you mean the cursed bite? What should I do today? Alright, who does everybody want to go visit? Let's just kind of click around our room and see if we can't get some mana coins before we go gambling. Do you eat it sideways? Tell me you eat it the right way. I eat it however way it comes out of the package. Usually from the corner? Finally, fresh gambling? Yeah. We've got a lot of coins, actually. 175? That's a good number. Let's go gambling. You're gonna die? I mean... I knew somebody who used to eat it like rib like corn. Like they would nibble off the side of it. And then they'd go to the next row and nibble the side of it again. I thought that was a cool way of eating it. Let's give it a shot. You used to like me, but now you found out how I eat Kit Kats? Unsubbed? Unliked? Sav sadness. But I mean, I guess I can't be appealing to everybody. Oh, well, I guess I'm glad you're sticking around. We've actually got most of the items already, guys. Wow. Help. Attack Neo Data? <laughs> Aurelian! If you can't handle how I eat Kit Hats, Kit Kats, you can't handle me. She got you hard there, Neo? Mm hmm. You can still hear the voices. The voices of what, Ivy? I mean, and I said, okay, I believe you. Nice, by the way. Beam attack? Well...
Ooh, we are above 70%. You're sorry? Who said that? She got you hard. <laughs> That's not what happened. La meow, la meow. La meow, meow. Nice. Anywho, who do we want to go visit? If nobody picks, we're going to go talk to Celeste some more. You just listen to Beam Attack on Attack the Musical, you swear to God. Hina? Okay. Anybody else have a preference? Hey, lucky, lucky. Nice. If you can't handle me at my Kit Kat, you don't deserve me at my Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. If only I wasn't allergic to Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Thanks for making me want one though, wing it. Swimmer girl, you think her name is Aoi? Yeah, that's Hina. Don't say those to me. You love both of those, especially cold Reese's. I miss Reese's so much. I wonder how how early in the run we will get the uh, hashtag gambler's fallacy. Fair enough. We've got 75% of the items. I'm just wondering how early in the run we'll get everything. I do believe there's one item that we can't get until post game though. Never stop gambling, it's gonna be the next one. I mean, we've got plenty of coins. You just need $20 more. Mm else have for dinner. I know these guys were talking about salads and buffalo chicken. We had pasta. I made it with Italian sausage and like a whole bunch of cheese. That was like the garden rotini so it was like the real good like hearty noodles. I guess they're hearty pastas not hearty noodles, huh? Salad was good. You had strawberry shake with it. You need to stream a game that lets you gamble in it. Hello, your computer died. What is up? Um, the ceiling. I can't say the, the one that I want to say. You had McDonald's wing it? I can't eat McDonald's for the most part. The only thing I can eat from there is the filet fish. You need to take your pills. Peace. Good night, Nico. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by as always. Hope you get some good rest. There's a dirty joke with what's up. Yeah, there is. It's a really good one, too. Are you latering us or are you latering Nico wing it? You don't 
don't know it, Mio. Um. Well, if there's still puzzle after the stream, I'll, I'll hop in the, to the Discord. Ah, gotcha, Wade. You can ask me what's up then. Yeah, how is the puzzle going, actually? I wonder. I don't even think I've got the puzzle set up to, uh, I don't. Hold on. There is a puzzle today. Let me reconnect. Let's see how it's going. Sounds like there will be a puzzle post stream. Yeah. You see, I went with the least likely to have spoilers one. I mean, I'm just waiting for this ad to finish up. Actually, it looks very much like there will be a puzzle post uh, game. It's not very finished at all. Yeah, so it is. Yeah, yeah. Look on the bright side, guys. We have plenty of things to give as gifts now. favor and like current check your current subscriptions because it just told me that Aurelius just resubscribed to my channel <laughs> like okay YouTube what's the point of putting more coins in the machine just better odds of getting something new yeah basically um, watch watch the repeat percentage as I like scroll the so basically for the cost of Currently, seventy five coins. I could guarantee something new. How's the coin hunt? Uh, we're actually doing rather good. Yeah, no, because it, it's like one percentage for each coin you add. It's just not worth it. It says you're subbed. Okay. Because I'm currently sitting at two ninety nine, but I've had like a lot of people unsubscribe from me in the last couple of days, so I don't know what's up with that. Like, it keeps waffling between, like, 295 and, like, 298, so. Who let bro cook in this puzzle? <laughs> None of the board <laughs> are done. I don't know who's doing the puzzle. I think that one's new. No? Okay.
think anybody was really working on the puzzle today, Mio. We can't go for too, too much longer on this, though, because we do have a schedule to keep for tonight. Starting to get to the point where we might get we might start chaining luckies. Oh, we're moving, we're moving. You're at least getting these borders done? Okay. Cryo's too busy. The schedule is nothing but gambling. No, I want to get at least to who our victim is tonight. We can always gamble after stream, like after everything's done, if we've got time. We could go to the menu and gamble. I'm just going to gamble these last two coins, and then uh, we'll move on. This just makes sure the machine get noises are just I know they're they're wonderful aren't they I should probably get going Yeah, yeah, we probably should we're going so that was the vote is we're going to get uh, We're going to do Hina, right? Banana -na 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 -na. The victim is you because your gambling addiction can't be stopped. Yikes. I feel you. We're going to get going, though. Yes. person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is true teamwork. You got it! That's a quote from the famous rugby player Yuji Matsudo. We gotta do the same thing. Cooperate so we can survive. Hmm, should I hang out with Hina for a while? Yeah! You wanna go for a run to relieve some of the stress? giving her the flotation donut. We only have one of these for some reason. Huh? What? I can keep this, right? Right? <sighs> Yay! Ultra stoked! Seeing Hina so pleased with something I give her makes me happy. Mm. Oh man, oh man! What's up? Okay. I'm getting totally fired up. What? How come? <laughs> How come doesn't matter? Now that I'm revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race! I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyway. That's right. Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. Well, hold on. You always seem so excited, Hina. What's your deal? Huh? Hey, are you making fun of me? No, I'm just impressed. Hmm. Really? I used to know this one guy. He was always like, Hina, you're like a super spaz. Super spaz? Yeah. Like, he'd see me wearing shorts in winter and he'd say stuff like that. Hmm. But if you lose to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. Wow, you did stuff like that and didn't get sick? You got it all wrong! Getting sick is for the weak. If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. It's all part of your training. Training, huh? Hmm. So, like, are you the type who gets sick easy? Actually, yeah. See, you're soft. You need more training. Lose to the cold, I know, right? Okay. I've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle. There's nothing wrong with shorts in the winter. No, there's not. Cold got hands. Huh? What kind of remedy? Yeah. Actually, I do this to myself every morning. 
You just strip down to your waist and then take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. I call it... I call it... Uh... Huh? What do I call it again? A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin. Let's take a shot at this. What do we think, guys? It's obviously the towel treatment. <laughs> Is it something like towel treatment? You got it! Oh my god, yeah, that's it! I love going out on my apartment balcony, stripping down and feeling the wind on my skin. God, it feels so amazing! I never let a morning pass without getting in a good rub down. Wait, so you went out on your balcony and stripped down? And you were okay with that? <laughs> you should give it a try. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. I'd hate to see you catch a cold or something. Yoga, clearly. Oh boy, Hina. After being introduced to a unique sickness prevention method, I went back to my room. Go find Hina again. Oh, ding dong. Sounds like someone's here. Taka. The Dream Team Squad. Hello, welcome in. Is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? Huh? You mean Alter Ego? Uh, oh. He's still alive? No, not quite. Hmm. Let me see. I want to talk to him. Taka. The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said we're not allowed to use Alter Ego. But, even so... Can you do a collab with me? What kind of collab would you want to do, Dream Team? I just can't leave him here like this. Okay, why don't we get going? What, what do you think of Dream Team? I see you do a lot of uh, games that I enjoy. You don't know? I mean, I would consider it. Guys, I'm seeing that uh, Dream Team over here doesn't seem to have a lot of subscribers. And looks like they're playing some great stuff. Um, maybe we'll check them out. You know, I'd have to watch some stuff, but... Can I add you on Discord? Um, I... You can join my Discord. Uh. I can see Chihiro. Take me. Just a second. Where are you going? Huh? Hey. It's probably best if you don't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. Kyoko looked at Taka, standing behind me. Yeah, I know that. But I was getting kind of hungry. I thought we could head to the dining hall, or warehouse, or something. Correct. Well then, I guess that's okay. You have a question for science. Pick a number 1 through 15. Two. I thought I saw a brief flicker of doubt, but maybe it was just my imagination. Actually. Come here, what do you want? Is that Toko? What? Oh, what? 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 Hmm, what are you two up to? Uh -huh. 
<laughs> Don't tell me you're gonna... You're gonna... Mm, yes, yes. Have him lost his new brother. Taka is ripe for the taking. So Makoto swoops in to steal him away. <laughs> Am I on fire? <laughs> I severely regretting, regretted talking to Genocide Jill. Even if by accident. You SOB! But that doesn't matter right now. Have you seen Byakuya? Huh? No, I haven't. <laughs> uh, good heavens! My love is being pushed to the limit! <laughs> I almost feel bad for him. I don't. Okay. So there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? And on the laptop, there's a program called Alter Ego. Uh, uh. How do I talk to him? Oh, um, well, you just tell me what you want to say. I'll type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? It's clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forced his weakened voice to make the sounds. What's my Discord server? Um. There you go. It'll pop up in a second. Hmm. Please. Okay. I typed the questions exactly as Taka had asked them. And then. So, um. Do you hold yourself responsible? But. If Master could talk now, I think this is what he would say. Please, live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape. All of you. Hey, Taka. I was about to say more, but quickly closed my mouth. Hey. The one asking those questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data... That's the only conclusion I can come to. You're going to, to Sam's tomorrow? What are you getting, Wing It? Um. Master told me how close Taka and Mondo had become. So that must be why he feels responsible. What should you get? Um, I don't know if your Sam's has everything that mine does, but they have this six pack creme brulee thing in like little glass jars. It's really good. That's what I think you should get. That one of their chicken pot pies. Those are good too. The screen suddenly went dark. And what appeared next was... Stop fucking around! You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? Ugh. Yo. A man's only worth is as much as the load he can carry. You get it, right bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do! Hmm. Th that's so I'm sorry if I startled you that was my attempt at a simulation using the data about Mondo that master had given me that creme brulee is super good yeah Costco chicken pot pie is better I don't know I don't like Costco's chicken pot pie I figured if Taco was depressed that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him Yo. so you're just gonna stand there huh just wait for things to get better just take your time and get all depressed. Take the time to indulge your regrets. You might even start walking again without realizing it. Sure, that kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. <laughs> what if I said it with that kind of condescending tone? Ha ha ha! Taka? Uh, oh. he's, he's going Super Saiyan! It's starting to sink in! The way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone-dry sponge. Huh? Those words, deep within my heart, they're inside of me! Taka? Who the fudge is Taka? Your eyes. F you. Hey, don't worry about it. Guess I caused some kind of scene, huh? Shoot, man. And your voice. Yeah. I'm a new me. Ha! I'm totally stuffed with a fighting spirit now, 
you dumb butt! Okay, Taka, just calm down. What? I am calm! And don't call me Taka! That's... That's not my name anymore! I'm me! I am me! Uh, you should deserve more viewers. Well, I appreciate that, Dream Team Squad. Why are they in a... Okay, so the computer thing is alter ego. Chikiro made this program on the laptop before they died. And, um... That's what the that's what the thing on the the computer is. Taka let out a bone chilling howl and ran out of the room. Hey, Taka, hold on. Red Death Man, Red Raid. Hey, welcome in. Hello, is that you? You're the red. So interesting when do you post I stream every night at 9 p.m. Eastern yeah let's get some links in the chat here for you at least I, I did copy that right right you see yeah see if anybody else comes that's okay even if they don't I see you were playing Fortnite how did it go Everyone is streaming again? Holy crap. I mean, I never stopped. <laughs> Fortnite literally died on you, so you went over to Pokemon? Lol. You tried? Tried what, wing it? It's the four streams at once gimmick? What do you mean, Ivy? Oh, 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 you. You're doing your thing. Right. Hey, guys, we just hit 300 subscribers. Yo, thanks, everybody. <laughs> I guess we got another special to plan. Finally finished the border on the puzzle. Oh, let's take a look at the puzzle, guys. Um, let me reconnect. You're not watching four streams at once this time, just two. You got it. GG's on 300. Thanks, Semi. I really appreciate it. Pop the champagne, Pogs. Yeah, I, you know, I was kind of concerned because I've been, like, waffling for a couple days there. But, hey. We're doing good over here, aren't we? 300 subscribers in just over two months? I'd say we're, do we're doing it. We are doing the thing. I'm just waiting for this silly ad. Then we can look at the puzzle. Oh yeah, you did get all of it done. Here we go, here we go. Puzzle. 300 subs. Woohoo! Indeed, there's the puzzle. And see how we're going today. And if you want to join in on the, the puzzle shenanigans, uh, the link is pinned. You do have to be in the Discord because you have to download the um, you have to download the picture and basically provide it to the website. But it's always a fun time, and, you know, I like to join the Discord afterwards and do puzzles with all of you. Oh, Lord, half the chat and the other stream is, you, is shipping the chat? Yikes. Congrats on 300. Sadly, you must go for now, but see if you can come back later. Have a good stream. Thanks so much for popping in, Red Death Man. And, you know, I really appreciate the raid. You have a great night. And, guys, if you haven't already, go click on that link I dropped. Go check him out. And I took off after him. 
but someone stood in my way. As if tagging Taka out, she walked briskly into the dressing room. Just a second. What do you think you're doing? Kyoko. Oh, um, no, you see, this is just... Is this ending? No, we're not ending. Not yet. Take care, Red Man. Or Red Death Man. <laughs> Enough already. Don't go call around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems. And not just for me. For everyone. Sorry. Correct. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here. Now. Oh, okay. Exit! You just subbed, saw the post in your shared creator space? Hey! Hope it's gotten you some new subs. I love Danganronpa. I love Danganronpa too. We were actually just celebrating because I just rolled over to 300. So that was actually probably... Well, now I'm at 301. So I guess you're 301. Hey! Welcome in. Um, <laughs> Need to clean your phone screen? I feel that now. Finally, I headed back to my room, embarrassed and sullen. You're 301. Ayy. Kyoko, you mean... <laughs> She's just trying to protect everybody, honestly. But still, what was with Taka's sudden freakout? I'm seriously worried about him. Sorry, you weren't subbed already. You've been slack checking your Discord? That's okay. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. You had a new video go up. You were going to send it on the channel, but you don't know where to put it. Um, there is a creator. Um, what did what did I call it? Um, I called it community promo. That's where you're going to want to put stuff. Um, Neo, I don't know if I've got you added as a content creator, though, so you might not be able to post it there yet. Um, I like your PNG. Thank you. I like my PNG, too. I can't wait until she fully evolves into a full VTuber. That'll be the day. That's the dream. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. And entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. All it says is done reading. What do you mean? You gave you a PFP? Ooh, Ivy. It's nighttime already. I guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to figure out Taka's whole thing. If Neko becomes 3D, we will all be done. <laughs> Little does Winget know, Neko is 3D behind the screen. I know, Aurelius, we just hit 301. I'm so excited. You know, actually, speaking of being at 301, I know it's a little bit premature, but um, Ember actually made me a my the first uh, emote for the channel. So I am starting to do, like, emotes. I'm going to grab, like, one from everybody. And um, so that means, like, Aloe and Aurelius. And I'd like Layla to do one, too, if she's up for it. Um, I'm going to get all of my favorite people to do emotes for my channel. Impossible. If you can't see it, it's not real. Ooh. <laughs> the place on your Discord you're talking about, all it says is done reading. What? What? Really? Uh, did I screw something up? Hold on. Now you've got me concerned. View server as role. No, there should be stuff in there. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Scuff, yeah, right? For now, time to sleep. You're not much of an artist, so you can't make one for me? That's okay. Yeah, so uh, Ember Z Painter has made the first one. What? The bear? His name's Monokuma. You 
you want to know why I hate video games? You might not believe this, but I had a best friend once. Actually, he was my only friend. But unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at his house one day when a big group of guys showed up to hang out. They just brought the latest big budget video game. They sat there lost in the game, passing the controller back and forth for hours. But not me. I just sat there watching. That's right, I just watched. What's wrong with that? I didn't care. Just by watching, I was able to nail down all the best strategies. Even though I never actually played it. And I don't plan on ever playing it in the future either. <laughs> you sent, okay. I will look at it after the stream, Neo. Um, we are like really behind right now. So I am trying to catch up a little bit. Good morning, everyone! Sounds like a skill It is now 7 a.m., <laughs> and nighttime is officially over! Time get ready to greet another beautiful oh, day! Hey. Alright, I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. I need to tell everyone what happened with Taka yesterday. If it makes it easier, you did not send me a DM. I appreciate that, Earliest. Yo, I've been waiting. Uh-huh. Are you the only one here? Where's everyone else? Hmm. They went on ahead. Went on ahead to where? Hey, come on. We can talk about it later. For now, let's go take a bath. Bath. Fumi, what's going on? <coughs> Makoto, save me! I've never asked you for anything, but I'm asking now. What happened? <coughs> She's trying to kill me. If Fumi pointed at Kyoko, uh, you made a bunch of your roommates on a trip. You went to get something, and you stayed up till 12:30 in the final night to finish the first part. Oof. Huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you. Whew. I never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. I'd like to know why he made the same mistake twice. The same mistake? What did he do? So... He snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and accessed Alter Ego without permission. And when I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop and breathing strangely. Huh? What were you doing? Whew. I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but be since being subtle didn't work. Listen to me. I suppose I have to clarify myself further. <laughs> yeah, please don't kill me. Wrong. I'm not going to kill you. Merely instruct you. How very sad. What? I just want to hear him explain himself. What emote do I want? I'm thinking about it, Aurelius. Um, Hifumi, could you tell me what happened? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Hifumi, could you tell me what happened? Well... I was just... I was just talking. However... Which was prohibited, was it not? <laughs> I mean, you see... Talking to her was just so much fun, and I just... Uh. Um... Okay, whoa, time out. I can't even believe I'm about to ask this, but... Hifumi, you're not gonna tell us you fell in love or something, are you? Ha! <laughs> huh. Then I, the cold-blooded killing machine of the underworld, would ever fall in love? That's... Well... Wait, it no way! Seem... It, is this love? According to the spirits... I happened to do a psychic reading for a certain famous CEO once. And that guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. How about that? And your eyes just now? 
I saw the same look in his eyes. You know nothing! Shut up! She's not a mannequin, she's an angel! I feel as if... And I... And don't bother telling me angels... Exist. I think that's supposed to say angels don't exist. What we have can't be defined by your petty words. <sighs> yeah, you're totally in love. <sighs> so, how did things end up like this? Well, at the beginning, I just wanted to hear her say master one more time. When do you think we can do Gartic phone? Well, uh, I'll think about it, Neil. But then I was poking around at her settings and stuff, and I saw she was a well-designed program. And I was like, how can I say? It was the first time I was ever able to talk like that with a normal girl. Oh. But she's definitely not a normal girl. What? Even when we did, all we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. <laughs> Your stories are so interesting, Havumi. Come on, tell me more. Down bad for a machine, lol. Good voice acting, really? I appreciate it. Um, I feel that though. Yeah, you know. I suppose. And that was the first time a girl's ever said anything like that to me. Besides my mom, I mean. Hey. Your mom said stuff like that to you? That's kind of amazing all by itself. <laughs> it's and that's why like... I was just so happy. It was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Well... Even the keyboard? <sighs> I think you have misunderstood the situation, Ifumi. Are you okay with this? Alter Eagle was not interested in who you were. It was interested in what you knew. Yo, man, hey! Thanks for the lurks! It is an artificial intelligence. It exists to learn. Of course it wanted to hear of things it did not know. You are an expert in many things Chihiro would, n could not have taught it about, for what that is worth. Honestly. You love a good keyboard as well? I actually really love my keyboard. Very nice, very tactile. Alter Ego wants that information, that is all. Your biggest crush is Cynthia from Pokemon and she turned into OC's mom in your D&D session? Yikes. I know that. I know, I mean, I do know that, but still. Are you saying it's totally hopeless? Er. You gotta be freaking kidding me! F you! Hey, you jerks, I'm sitting here listening to you guys jibber jabber on about whatever! Yo! Yo, Taka, are you back? <laughs> Who the hell's Taka? Huh? Uh, you? <laughs> Listen up! I'm me! Got it? What the heck? Huh? You're who? What? Don't bullcrap me, isn't it obvious? I'm Kia Taka and Mondo! So I'm like, Kiondo, I guess! <laughs> I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe! What the? What the heck kind of fusion is this? What's happening, you, Taka? Uh, actually, you're looking in the Discord. Is the off-topic place the place to send random art? There is an art channel, Ivy. Um. Hi, me. Oh my God, he's going crazy. He's gone Super Saiyan. I told everyone what had happened the day before. Well then. So, because of what Alter Ego said to him. Um... Are you sure it's Alter Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost showed up and possessed him. Uh -huh. g g ghost There's the, 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 no, the, no such thing! <laughs> what are y'all whining about? Come on! What? God, you're really cheesing me off! Hey, Hifumi! <laughs> yes? Yeah? I don't know what you're thinking, but... You. The bro belongs to me! Yeah. Alter Ego, he's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. And I'm 
I'm not gonna let anyone else have him ever again! Fudge an idiot! I am afraid. I can't allow that! What? So I can't withdraw. Mr. Ishimaru, since I have this opportunity, let me say this right now. That's it. Destiny I'm has sure bound me and her together in the Guardian Knot of True Love. <laughs> well, me and him have a friendship. Have been melted together in the white hot heat of friendship. Hey, come on, you guys. <laughs> Moron. Talk down to me and I'll ram my fist right into all four of your vital points. Well, I punch at the speed of sound, and I don't have any arm hair, so there's no drag. Enough already. Knock it off, both of you. Hey. This doesn't belong to any one person. Chihiro left him to all of us. We can use him to find the game access to vital clues. Mm. Kyoko's right. If anyone dares to disturb our peace any further, hey. they'll have to deal with me. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, keep bananas out of tailpipes. That's a waste of food. You don't have any on topic art? Yeah, no, no. It's just art. It doesn't matter whether it's on topic or not. Oh god, they're going to fight over a computer? They did fight over a computer. Most people, when they do voices, suck, but you're actually keeping you very entertained. Oh, well, I appreciate it. Um, like, you don't know. No, just put it in the art ch channel, Ivy. It's okay. Uh, you love the energy? I appreciate that so much. I was worried that the voices were weird. <laughs> what? You thought it, it would be odd that Cindy and him would be, and you don't know, a promise ring thing, so you decided him being her son would be easier? Um... At, I'm just gonna say at least it's not the stepmom. Anyway... Until Alter Ego has finished his work, don't do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? So? I can't hear you. I... Yes. Oh, yeah. Got it. So then. Okay then. Let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too much longer. Hey. Are you sure it's okay to let them off with a warning? Indeed. Yes. I have a plan. It'll be fine. You're so funny. You're troubling someone when you're watching... I'm so confused. What? After watching Hifumi and Taka leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. Alright, we're still going to visit Hina. It's still morning, but because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Well, anyway, I just have to pull myself together. So what should I do for the rest of my day? We should... Go visit Hina, because that's who everybody wanted to meet. You're more respectable in your morals than your jokes. Well. Not run backwards. There you are. Okay. You're trying to find a collab if I'm free, then you can tell me if you... I'm actually like... I mean, if we found something that you wanted to do, then sure. But I'm... I'm got a lot going on, honestly. I stream seven days a week. And I have toddlers, so... Uh... Running backwards is cool. No rush. I got the weird art. You're gonna put it in. Great. Time for more Best Swimmer Girl. Disclaimer, you can't draw for crap. It can't be as bad as me. The opposite of possible isn't impossible, it's challenge. Hmm. That's a quote from the famous basketball player, Jackie Robinson. And we have to remember, this is just a challenge. We can't give up. Hmm, should I talk to Hina for a while? <laughs> okay, you want to go for a walk? I don't care where to. <sighs> Although, no matter where we go, we're still stuck in this stupid school. 
Hina and I walked aimlessly around the school. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, let's give her a present. We didn't get all those presents from the Mono Mono machine for no reason. Um... Oh, I don't have any of those left. Um, what else did she like? This, right? Right? <sighs> Yay! Ultra stoked. It's in, you swear to God, you might leave the Discord server out of embarrassment. Hold up, hold up. That's not bad. I don't see what you're embarrassed about. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Is something wrong, Hina? I've reached my limit. Just a second. I'm stuck in here. Can't do any sports. Can't do anything. I'm sick of it. I want to get out under the sun and do some laps. Run a marathon. I want to do some real sports. Hina, calm down, okay? What the heck? I can't do anything in here if I can't move around. I'm going to die like a bunny rabbit. But... I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. That's terrible! Whatever! I'm gonna die if I can't get some proper physical activity! Don't you think that's a little extreme? Unfortunately, your content, you can't talk until like 9pm. That's why you do things at night, so unfortunately you can't do a collab for context. You start at 6pm for you and it's 8.41 now. Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, Ivy, that's not bad. I don't understand why you think it is. They do, but this... So, some of the free time events are gonna seem a little behind because they're from Chapter 1. We never got them, wing it. I mean, I guess they do have a gym on the first floor. I don't know. What the heck? Don't question the game. You think I'm kidding, don't you? But seriously, I can't sit still, you know? Why else would I have joined six sports teams in school? Six? That's right. Yeah. Track, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. The big one? The big one? She got to her main sport but ran out of juice. I think it's gotta be. Swimming. Your main sport is swimming, right? Hmm. Yeah, you got it. Ah, uh, I don't even care what stroke it is. Just get me in a pool under the blue sky. But isn't it hard to do that many sports, even for you? Yeah, questioning the game. Going home. <laughs> well, if I can't move, I'll just shrivel up and die. And I need a challenge. More and more new stuff to try. A challenge? Because, I mean... What I really love about sports isn't winning, you know? It's having to fight and struggle and give it all you got to reach the top. It's that excitement, that fear that you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. But... When you finally reach that goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know? I never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about. But I could tell the reason Hina was so amazing at how hard... Was how hard she could fight and struggle. Um... So that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. She's a spoink? Yeah, she stops moving. She'll, oh my god. Asahina is a spoink. It's kind of why you would love to do a D&D &D thing or something that doesn't need to be streamed. That's fair. I mean, Neo, if we were going to do a D&D &D thing, I could always, like, just mute when I'm not, when it's not my turn. I want to aim for the very highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop? Okay. I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim for the gold, even if it means I'm a super gold spaz. Did she just call herself? Okay, but if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, 
Why are you standing around making excuses? Huh? Excuses? Just a second! Hey! When did I ever make any excuses? Sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now with no way out. But if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try and see what you can do in here? Speaking of D&D, &D, you're finally going to start doing D&D &D stuff with friends again despite not knowing anything? Oh, that's awesome, Ivy. Oh! That, that's a challenge! You just made an official challenge! Yeah, totally. But I think you're right. If I want to get that gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. I want to become a genius enough effort. I bet Ian Thorpe said something like that. Okay. Yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. Alright, I think I'm going to go do some push-ups in my room. Like maybe a thousand or something. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. She recovered exactly as fast and strong as I would have expected. Not that we're using skills. That's the best, but we need at least three players, and who's the DM unless you want to be the DM? Unless you yeah. That's okay. We'll figure it out, Neo. Oh, she's in the dining hall. Just make Chad GPT the DM. What could go wrong? Yikes. Oh god, no. Oh <laughs> yeah. The key is not the will to win. Everybody has that. It's the will to repair to win that's important. Yeah. That's a quote from the famous basketball coach Bobby Knight. Okay. So it's like, we have to work hard, you know? Okay. I was thinking of going to the pool for a quick dip. You should come with me. I went for a swim with Hina. Next thing you know, we're playing Lord of the Rings with Harry Potter logic. Oh. Yes. She likes these, doesn't she? Eh. Yeah. Uh, hey Makoto. I'm so tired. Yeah, you do look pretty tired. What happened? Well... I woke up earlier than normal this morning, so I decided to do a push-up, sit-up, squat set. I ended up doing a thousand of each. Well, that would explain it. Aww. Tired. So tired. I want something sweet. I want those things you get when you mix flour, sugar, butter, and eggs, then deep fry them. So what he is looking for is donuts. Oh, I know. You want some donuts, don't you? Um... Don't tell anyone, but there's actually a bunch of frozen donuts in the warehouse. Okay. Throw those in the microwave for just a few seconds and just imagine. Imagine the warm chewiness of that donut. You know what I'm saying, right? You eat the crap out of that, right? You really do love donuts, huh? Just a second. Is there anyone who doesn't? Who on earth? No. Who in the whole universe can say that they hate donuts? Um. Think about the sensation of biting into a donut. First the sweetness floods your mouth, then the soft dough cushions you. <sighs> Next you get that hint of egg and butter, right? Your whole body starts to melt. You feel like you're falling into the center of the donut itself. When people talk about donut effective, that's what they're talking about. You're telling? Lol. That's absolutely not true. <gasps> ah! I can't take it anymore! I'm drooling like Niagara Falls over here! Just a second! Get out of my way, Makoto, or I got an uppercut with your name on it! I'm not in the way. <laughs> Wait for me, cut of donuts! Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. Whenever around her, I feel like I'm soaking in the essence of human vitality.
Um. <laughs> and telling Hifumi he looks like he can eat half a hundred of them. Hina, I feel like you would know how to make a donut. Hina absolutely knows how to make donuts. Hina, stop talking about donuts. Yeah, or else Neko's gonna make Cryo pick up donuts in the morning on his way home. <sighs> you don't see Jewel unless it's Hina. Oh my god, Neo! <gasps> hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. So do I, Ivy. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Nighttime already. I guess I'll just go to bed for today. Yeah, where's that jail when I need it? I'm about to build one, that's what. Gotta bounce, have fun? Thanks, Exit, for stopping in. Um, guys, if you haven't checked out Exit stuff... Actually. Actually. Go check them out. I feel like your name is a trap, but Sakanya Chanthala, welcome in. Yeah, no, no, no. I've been really enjoying your uh, Pokemon Green Nuzlocke. It's been really cool. Man, this could have been a dramatic exit. <laughs> Ivy, lol. Happy New Day. I'm the kind of guy I don't want to celebrate a new year. I want to celebrate the dawn of every new day. Because every new day deserves celebrating. So, once again, happy new day. You are too. It's been awesome. Big love. Have a great day. You too, Exit. You too. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. I'd better get to the dining hall. Taka and Kyoko are not here today. You know? Kyoko's still on guard duty, probably. Hmm. I have no idea about Taka. Damnation! May as well just forget about that guy. So, um... You don't have to get so mad. You know? They're rivals in love. What are you gonna do? Hmm. Don't put me on the same level as that. That virgin. I might just catch his virginity. But... Nah, my guess is you're already infected. Huh? Wait, you can really catch it? <laughs> Stop being vulgar. Let's eat breakfast. But as soon as my hands approach my food... <laughs> that voice! The doors to the dining hall explode open and a figure appeared. <laughs> so in the end... So it's you, Genocide Jill, and... That's enough. Don't bother asking why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. Yep. I'll give you a hint. Uh -huh. I'm wearing red lingerie today. Huh? Um, I don't think anyone wanted to know. Huh? Hold on a second. You. Huh? You What's your top power age? level? Like 35, 22, 33? You gotta start out big on top and try and look bitter down south. You SOB! Look at your melons! They're seriously gargantuan! Do you dunk them in milk every night or something? Ooh. You're starting to freak me out. One stream talking about virginity, the other stream, uh, seven. 
You were cutting hair? Oh, or <laughs> No forgiveness! If you lay a finger on Hina, I will show you no mercy. <sighs> so, what do you want? Surely you are not here to join us for breakfast. Naturally. Of course not. I came to hear a story. A story? A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Are you talking about Alter Ego? Mm. Sorry, but we can't talk about that right now. What? Why not? <sighs> because of certain circumstances. Ugh. Up till now, you haven't given a crap about anything, and now you're all concerned? I don't buy it. Jill, just no man. Uh, oh, my place where Rosewood is created, Burner 4 is coming in. What? Ivy, what? What was Jill hinting at? Um, red lingerie is something you put on to uh, lose the sickness everybody was talking about a few minutes prior. It's all clear now. I've just made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to the vultures. <laughs> what kind of messed up dictator are you? What? But isn't this a democracy? Would you exclude those who don't fit into your tyrannical majority? That's not what we're doing. That's fine. Well, whatever. If nothing else, tell me what's going on with Taka. When I saw him yesterday, I happened to notice something seemed off, so I was curious. Who would win, Sakura or evil Sakura? I don't know what you mean, Neo. You got it? They were holding hands! Sickos. Uh, yeah, yeah, Cryo. Indeed. Taka has become utterly useless. Don't forget the sweaters. They live up if done right. Mm. Celeste, you don't have to say it like that. I see. Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand this environment? Those men who clothe themselves in the cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fall. <laughs> but perhaps that will make things all the more interesting. Interesting? Such ignorance. Let me ha leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false camaraderie. Or you'll reap its bitter reward. What the heck? That's why you came? To give us that amazing advice? <laughs> it seems I am unwelcome here. Then I will grant your desire and remove myself. Sakura or like a clone of Sakura? By nature of her being an ultimate, I feel like... Sakura would win unless the clone was created by the ultimate clone person? Like, if there was one? I feel like that's Ooh, a weird yes, question. Yes. Yeah, let's get out of here. Stop talking. You don't need to come with me. Yep. You don't have to play hard again, Master. You can just play hard. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Byaka just started to slowly back out of the room. He started picking up speed, and soon he was sprinting out of the dining hall. What? what, what, what? He ran away! So now he's running hard to get, I see! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! <laughs> um... So, at the end there, what was that all about? Uh, um... Just now, Byakuya was like... Um... Maybe he's like the mean guy who starts acting different or getting flustered when things change. Hmm. Guess so. Lady, you need to think. But she's so fun. Those of us left in the dining hall finished our breakfast, then went back to our rooms. Alright. Um. What to do today? I guess we keep talking to Hina. We always have that good versus evil trope, so you want to know good soccer versus evil soccer. I don't know. I don't know how to answer your question. You have to endure, endure, endure. Well, that's a quote from the famous marathon runner Samuel o Samuel Wanjiru. Hmm. But every person's endurance has a limit. 
Yeah. What is up again? It's still the ceiling. And when I think a change of pace, you got it. I can only think 50 laps in the pool. You're gonna watch Burner 5 tomorrow? Sounds interesting, Ivy. Yes, we give her a gift. I'm pretty sure she likes these too. Yeah. Seeing Hina, please, makes me happy. Ah, uh, so hungry. Please! Makoto, help me! I'm hungry! What am I supposed to do? Uh. I need food! Anything! I don't care if it's a stack of paper! Need food! Why don't you just eat some more donuts? Just a second! I can't! That's my secret weapon! For emergencies only! If I kept gorging on something with that many calories, I'd get fat in no time! So even she cares about that kind of thing. Well, she is an athlete. You ate all the donuts before we could tell everyone? But... Besides, I don't want anything sugary. Right now I want a salty snack. Like potato chips? Hmm. Like ramen. How is that a snack? You got it all wrong. Huh? How is it not? Speaking of which, what's your favorite kind of ramen? Show you, without a doubt. You got it. Ah, good choice. Definitely the most refreshing option. What about you, Hina? You're worried about calories and all, so... Okay. I'm a portastic tonkatsu girl through and through. Or you don't care about calories at all. Feed me, Seymour. Love that movie. <laughs> we were actually just talking about uh, that movie in Aloe's stream last night. Um, Hardcap wants to get a group together to do a YouTubers present uh, series. On it. I think it would be absolutely hilarious. I told them that I would participate, but they got to use my PNG for it. And that I wanted to be the dentist's nurse. Like, I want to be the nurse at the dentist's office. Like, that, that's... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The key is the element. On, on what? I don't know what really is. How... How does Hina stay in shape then? She must be all of that swimming, yeah. She's the kind of person who would eat the dry noodles and drink boiling water for it. You know, wing it, she probably is. The key element of any tonkatsu ramen is the butter and the extra fat. So you're okay with all that oil? Ugh, uh, talking about it just made me even hungrier. Maybe it's time. Maybe I can make it to the dining hall. Are you sure, though? I mean, a bowl of ramen has way more calories than a donut. What is this? Who says stuff like that? Are you a real man or aren't ya? Um. You remember when I refused to watch that because it'd be too scary? Hush you. Uh, hi, Neko. How are you doing today, lovely Layla? We actually hit 300 today. I don't think Larry has one, Aurelius. Can you make one for Larry, please? Because he definitely needs one. How are you doing, Larry? How is the rest of your, uh, what, what was it, Yakuza or whatever? Is that what you were playing? I wasn't really paying attention. I was just lurking, mostly. Hina is going to beat your butt, Makoto, or the front, save the twin. <laughs> Neo! What are you? Afraid of ramen? I know, I was so excited, Layla. Actually, seeing you here, um, I had already said something to Aurelius and to um, Aloe, but I wanted to ask if you would do one of the... Um, one of the emotes for my channel for once we get memberships. I'm still kind of thinking about what we're doing, but I'd really like it if you would be one of the people to do one for me. Larry, you are all right. Yakuza raged you way out for a solid hour, went back with healing items, and first try the fu Oh my god. You already told her it really is? 
Yeah, but I wanted to I wanted to ask myself. It's, that's like an important thing, right? Anywho. You're pathetic, Makoto. I'm ashamed to know you. Are you still Hina? Just a second. Shut up. Get out of my way. I'm gonna show you what a real man looks like. Or are you going to stand in my way and suffer the fist-based consequences? No, I have no intention of getting in your way. Okay. Then don't. If I don't do this now, when am I ever going to get another chance? Crying out like a starving raven, Hina ran off at a dangerous clip towards the kitchen. When it comes to food, Hina is terrifying. Yeah, I'm still thinking about it, Layla. Um... If you can't tell, you're unhinged in some ways, but not all the ways. It's okay. I um, I actually, I know what one I want, Al like what emoji I want Aloe to do is something for like unhinged. Um, you finished that chapter of the game. To be fair, you should have expected issues since you hadn't played it in a couple weeks. That's that's true. Um, you're still waiting for your emote to drop. Well, I mean, make one, hun. This based consequences, please. It would be funny. <laughs> Hina's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Yeah, I'm not going to use the skill. I don't know why you keep giving me skills. Oh, wait, because I'm talking to people. I learned my lesson and made my way back to my room. Oh, gosh. We still got one more to go, don't we? I still have some time. All right. One more. One more. You have it, it ready to go for a year? What do you mean, Cryo? I'm so confused, but all right. Hmm. A person's ability is measured by the power they display at the point where pressure is applied. Yeah. That's a quote from the famous baseball player, Kenji Jomi Jojima. Yeah, totally. I think what he means is that you only really see how strong a person is when they're under pressure. I wonder how strong I can really be. Hmm. You got it. Let's go to the pool. Swim time. But... Uh, but, uh, don't stare, okay? I don't actually have a swimsuit. It's just a shirt. And when it gets wet, it's kind of embarrassing. Huh? Although I wasn't embarrassed before, but now I kind of am. I wonder how come. I went swimming with Hina, who seemed kind of embarrassed. Yes, we're present. <laughs> How thoughtful. This is why I like you, Makoto. Ah. Er, I mean, not like, like. Not that kind of like. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Ah. Uh, this sucks. What happened to her? She seems way more depressed than usual. Oh, 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 boy. You had one ever since Wardy had his ready to go, but you made all the ones he wants? Oh, interesting. Hina, um, take this towel. I actually love Hina's hair. I know, it's so cute, isn't it? <laughs> Wing it. Hey, Hina, what's wrong? Um... Oh, well... I tried to convince myself I was imagining it, but I totally wasn't imagining it. Imagining what? I'm sick of this. I got fat. I figured. I'm so huh? fat. Fat from every angle. I hate this. I hate it. I may as well just accept it and embrace my new big fat fatty attitude. But what if I just keep getting fatter and fatter and it never stops? I'm sick of this. I just get disgustingly morbidly obese and then nobody wants to marry me. Which makes me depressed and I get even fatter? Eventually I can't even stand up on my own. And then I die. Sad and alone? Nobody notices? I finally lose weight when my body starts to rot. I think maybe you're worrying a little too much. Force feeds her donuts back. Hey, Ella. Welcome back. Impossible. You need fat to burn. Yeah, right? You ship Makoto and Hina. Most people ship him and Kyoko, but Kyoko doesn't fit in that. 
She's asexual as heck? Yeah, probably. Sup, aloe. Embrace it more to love. Yeah, yeah, you. Hush, you cryo. Besides, as far as I can tell, you look exactly the same. What the heck? You're just saying that. I'm a total chub monster. I'm a perfect circle. You think someone is leaving a hate comment as a response to one of my comments? What do you mean? No, 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 wait, wait, where? Hold up, hold up. Lol? <laughs> I really is. You got haters. Haters gonna hate? Are they hating me? I don't even know. People are weird, MK. No, seriously, I'm not just saying that. Hmm. Then I'm still hot? Well, I mean, uh, yeah. Um, really? Then I might make, still make it out alive? Uh, yeah. I'm sure you'll make it out alive. <laughs> thank God. Seriously, thank God. Okay. But I can't relax now. I'm making an official statement. As of right now, Aoi Asahina is on a diet. A diet? You got it. Just you watch. I'm going to get so thin, it'll scare the crap out of you. Well, don't overdo it, okay? Okay. Don't try and stop me. I've made up my mind, and my willpower is rock hard. <laughs> you give it 11 minutes. And now my resolve is even more rock hard. You got it. But before all that, time to get stuffed on donuts. <laughs> Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. I'm not sure if dieting is really in Hina's skill set. <laughs> you didn't mean to if you did what, Neo? Not even 11... What do you mean 11 minutes? I'm confused. Oh, you meant the diet. Ha ha. Back to the puzzle? Mm-hmm. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Na na. Da na na. Na na na. Na na na. Huh? There's something by the door. This piece of paper. It looks like someone must have slipped it under my door. Meet in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good. But to want to meet up so suddenly? Who wrote it, and why? What's the point of calling me out like this? Neo misread the room. Okay. In Borderlands 2, you just got an achievement for melee attacks because you hit them with a car? That's funny. I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out for now. You were talking about the hate comment because you thought you were talking about something that was- Yeah, no, no, no. Yo! Oh, Makoto. Hero, then the letter I found in my room? You know? Yup, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. Hmm. Well, I was always taught that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come out and haunt you. How is hitting them with a car a melee attack? I mean, it is blunt force trauma. Who taught you that? And why did you want to meet with me? Hmm. Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko? Actually. I'm just an errand boy on this. Hmm. Anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? Huh? You know? Okay, let's do it. No, I I was totally lost. Hero grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close, and whispered into my ear. For serious. It's all an act, so the mastermind won't notice. Everything everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. What? Then, did Alter Ego finish his search? You got it, Hero. Let's go take a dip together. I was probably louder than I needed to be. But me and Hero hurried to the dressing room. Um, yeah, death by blunt object. 
you're telling me a blunt forced trauma? A blunt <laughs> forced this allo! 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 <coughs> the car was being driven by someone holding a blunt. Therefore, it forced the trauma. As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. F you! Hey, you! How long were you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock! You know that? Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls! <laughs> Shut up! What? What'd you say? You want me to make you cry, little girl? <laughs> Taka, he seems to be even more soft than what I'd heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. <laughs> what? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, you know that? Hiro wants to bath with me. Sorry, man. I don't roll like that. Kyoko has good enough cake for me. Don't drive intoxicated, peeps. Indeed. Rude! A maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven-sent master! Oh! Mm -hmm. Are you back to your gloomy se normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. <laughs> Shut up! Hey, come on! Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete. And share the rest of the blunt, right, Allo? We need horny jail back. I kind of feel like we do. Hey, you wanted us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? How about that? Isn't it obvious? It's gotta have something to do with alter ego, right? That's right. Yeah, totally. Did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The mastermind's true identity? King Ceres, Unbound God, we are doing great today. I'm about to get totally wrecked by whatever you had for dinner and whatever you're having for dessert, but that's just the way it is. I should probably ask Kyoko what's going on. I thought I clicked on Kyoko. Whatever. It's gone. Gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered. Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. What? No way! Keep the degeneracy for post-stream puzzling? Yeah. We will be in the Discord afterwards for post-stream puzzling. Or at least I will. You aren't exactly saying anyone that will force you to force you to dash the message. Yeah, but you're kidding, right? Oh. Um... Huh? What? She's gone? You. you can't be fudging serious. What'd you do with it? Hmm. Was it to the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? It's just people forget easily. Yeah. Wrong. I told Arthur Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Well... Maybe we just missed it? However... I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But... If it wasn't the mastermind, then... Leonard, hello. Good morning from work. Good morning. Um, fortunately, you still feel bad. You're doing good just snacking on garlic parm. Oh, garlic parm wings and bacon wrapped fried mushrooms. Wrecked. I knew I was getting wrecked today. I knew you had something good. <laughs> the solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It could only have been him. Mr. Ishimari, you stole her, didn't you? What? What? I'm the ultimate moral compass. I would never do something like that. Hmm. I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. F you. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big juggling sack of fat. <laughs> Shows what you know. This is in my true form. I still have three more transformations left. Damnation! Er, wait. I mean, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. <laughs> Wrong. It's you. He is. He is still cracked out of his mind. He is. 
for serious. Well, I'm sure it was one of you, so whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. Wrong. No, there's no way either one of them did it. Huh? Huh? Why not? So... I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing room. What? But what? Whew. It was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. Thanks, Taka. Yeah, right? <sighs> but I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly. Which means it wasn't them. But... Then who was it? So that's it. The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the Mastermind, and it wasn't Taka or Hifumi, then quite simply, it was someone else. <laughs> Interesting. Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. That's terrible! Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? <laughs> How about this for a reason? There's a traitor among us. Huh? Hmm. One of us is working for the Mastermind. A spy. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? It, it can't be. Hmm. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might actually be a spy among us. There's a traitor? What? Among um, us. Indeed. Ooh, Allo, do you think there's a traitor? Who thinks there's a traitor? In fact, let's put up a poll. If you already know whether there is or is not, please refrain from voting. Um, here we go. Is there a traitor? Did I, did I have to get that close to the mic? Yeah, it was funny, wasn't it? The mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. There's a traitor and his name is among us? Mm -hmm. A spy for the mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible? There's no way! What? Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? What? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. It's like who? Someone? Anyone? Save her? Please rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see her smiling face again. Damn it! Same here. How many times do they have to kill Bro before they're happy? I'll beg. I'll scrape my head across the ground. Just please give him back. So, um... This is pretty messed up, but still, I think I kind of get how they feel. At the very least. I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe, for the moment at least. Yes, indeed. If they wanted to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. I see. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him. Something else? Damn it! That doesn't matter! Nothing. Nothing else matters. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back! That's my promise as a man! I swear, I will save her! Using the power of love! Don't do that, Taka. That's how you go bald. Hmm. <clears throat> the school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hmm. It's night time. There is nothing to be done. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone gets some sleep. <laughs> How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. <sighs> what good are you if you are too tired? You will be much more effective after a good night's sleep. 
Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here. These bugs do be biting. Mm -hmm. Calm down. Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I agree with you. If we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice, and we won't get anything done. Taka, Hifumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if, just for tonight, you can try to endure it. This is fine. Okay, then let us part for today. We will begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. <laughs> and you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the Mastermind. Alter Ego has gone as quickly as he appeared. We'd finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope, and then when that hope was taken away, despair. It's just like, just like what the Mastermind is doing to us. Then, could it really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego? Could they really be working for the Mastermind? If that's true... No, it can't be. There's no way! I didn't even realize I'd yelled that out loud. The scary thing isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is... The idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Damn it! I threw myself onto the bed, trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. Murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes, the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. Hi, I'm Akuma. I feel that, Aloe. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially Go over. Go Hello. Time to rise and shine. Welcome Get in. Get ready in. to greet another beautiful day. You actually came in at a very juicy moment. Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first. To the dining hall. I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. But when I found out what was waiting for me there... Hmm. Is this it? What happened to the others? Hmm. Aren't they coming? There were only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me, only four people? God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with anything. They're what? What do you what? What, Allo? However. Anyway, let's wait a little longer for the others. So we decided to wait in case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited. Um So it's eight o'clock. We've been waiting here a full hour. Mm -hmm. Why haven't the others come? Because, I mean... Hero and Celeste have never missed a day till now. And what I'm really worried about is Hifumi and Taka. They were more eager than anyone to look for Alter Ego, and they're not here. It can't be. Something must have happened. Huh? It would seem... I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive. Ten million dollars! I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive! 
What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wowy wow wow, am I right? Don't tell me someone did something for money. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood, and I hated that I did. You can never really know another person completely. Anything can happen here, and you can't consider it strange. Not really. Hey. We need to go look for the people who never showed up. Hmm. Okay, let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. Hey. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you go to the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay. Then I guess I'll check the third floor. Anyway. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. But... I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Well then. Okay, let's go. Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Okay, I need to look around the first floor. Nothing in here. No one in here. That's strange. Someone, come here! What? That was Hina. She's supposed to be checking the third floor. There was no time to think. I was running for the stairs before I knew what was happening. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away, I saw her standing there in the hallway. P please! Makoto! You know what's wrong? Don't you usually scream at the body discovery announcement? Uh, it, it's awful! The rec room door was open, and when I looked inside, I saw, I saw! What did you see? I'd better get the others, right? I'm gonna go get him. You go on ahead, Makoto. Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room, what did she see in there? At this point, I was used to acting without thinking, so without thinking, I leapt into the rec room. The first thing I saw when I got into the rec room was... Ugh. It was Celeste, and she was hurt. Ugh. Makoto! Celeste, what happened? Ugh. I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked? By who? Uh, I am not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? Uh, A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with the hammer on the ground there. What is this? It's some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. There's some writing on the head. Justice Hammer 1? <sighs> that is the hammer he attacked me with. Alex! What? Good evening! YouTube has been glitching out, so you're just now learning that I'm live? That's okay. YouTube's been glitching out for everybody. Um, make sure to check up on your subscriptions because a lot of people were saying that they've been having trouble with them being deleted all of a sudden because of the glitches. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. I now curse my lack of daily exercise. So you were attacked with this? Justice Hammer 1. Makoto! Celeste! Okay. I found Sakura. What? Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. Mm -hmm. A strange man? Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. 
You also need to go to bed so you'll leave the stream running while well, I super appreciate the lurks, Alex. I hope you have a great night. Have a good night and happy sleuthing? Yeah, things are about to get crazy here. Ugh. Well, it all happened earlier this morning. I woke up a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime was not yet over. But I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understand now, that was a mistake. Anyway, that is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow after him in secret. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek in through the gap in the door, which is when he noticed me, and... Mm -hmm. And that's when you were attacked. <sighs> it happened after 7 a.m., just after nighttime had ended. So, if it happened just after 7 o'clock... Huh. Then that was about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. <sighs> the attack caused me to lose consciousness, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. But... Well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. <sighs> that is because I begged and groveled for my life. Mm -hmm. You did. As for me... I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. I see. So, you were willing to throw away all your pride. Indeed. It is a necessary skill for survival. Anyway... The important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could become a serious problem. <laughs> Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? <laughs> when I looked in the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him... Hifumi. H Hifumi? <laughs> After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. What? You mean, Hifumi was kidnapped? Um... Shouldn't we start looking for him, then? Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out to you about this strange guy? Uh. Did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Show us. Indeed. This is Hifumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. You don't mean... Actually... I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Huh? Seriously? Let's see it! <laughs> I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. Huh? Well, you are definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Oh. Not Robot Man! Is that a robot costume? Oh. As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual, yes? <laughs> so this weird robot guy dragged Hifumi away? Oh. And I took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago. Which is why, if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I see. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there is much I don't understand, but... Hmm. The point is, someone dragged like that, dragged Hifumi away. And it happened over an hour ago. Just a second! This is bad! We have to hurry! C Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? Let's see. When they left the rec room, they headed left. I see. If that's true, they were headed towards the stairs leading down to the second floor. Then he must be down there, right? Hmm. The second floor? That's where Kyoko was supposed to be! Huh? Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Um... Sorry, I didn't have time to go look for her. This is bad. If the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry! Kyoko's in danger! As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed out of the room and down to the second floor. 
Hey, you two. What? What's going on? What's all the fuss? What the fuck, what? Yeah, you guys playing a game or something? What are you saying? Does it look like we're playing a game? Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Hifumi? You've got to be kidding. Nope, nope, sure haven't. <laughs> are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard there's some kind of uproar, so I came running. Uh -huh. We came here together. Stop talking. No, you're just stalking me. Anyway, could you guys help us look for them? What? Why? What happened? Ugh. There's no time now. We'll explain later. That's fine. Well, fine. Sounds like something interesting's going on. Okay. If you feel me, Kyoko, if you can hear me, say something. Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Mm. Oh. Did you hear something? Hmm. Maybe. Perhaps. I think it came from the library. Okay. The library? Okay, let's go. We ran to the library as fast as our legs would carry us. When we opened the door to the library... <laughs> it hurts! It hurts! We found Hifumi seriously injured. Are you okay? Um... I'm glad to see you're still alive. <laughs> it's super bad though. Look at all the blood. What? How did you get hurt? <laughs> that guy hit me. What guy? <laughs> Robo Justice. Er, that's what I decided to call him just now. What? What did you say? What are you talking about? <laughs> that guy was Robo Justice. Indeed. This Robo Justice you are referring to is this, is it not? What the hell am I looking at? This is the one that attacked Celeste and Hifumi. Isn't that right, Hifumi? <sighs> yeah, this that's him. I'm sure of it. Robo Justice. It can't be. Robo Justice, huh? Damn. This just keeps getting stranger. It's a hammer, just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room, but this one is... Justice Hammer 2? And on top of that, this one's actually a little bigger than the first one. He attacked me with that hammer. He bonked me right on the head with it. Have fun, you can't stay more. Good health and good luck, everyone. Have a great day, Leonard, and I hope that the rest of your day is fabulous. Well... A hammer that big? I'm surprised you're still okay. <laughs> I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Hey, protein helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? <laughs> I have never heard such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? <laughs> oh, it's him. <laughs> a robot of justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get exciting. Wait, what, Ello? Pink. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? <laughs> what? Why is he here? Are you okay with this? Let us not concern ourselves with him. Oh, trigger warning, Pink. Yeah, fair enough. What we need to do now is get Hifumi to the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. Yeah! You're right! Let's go! <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We moved Hifumi to the nurse's office on the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. Hmm. How are you feeling, Hifumi? You want me to take a look at you? Um, I'm okay. I think it stopped bleeding. They're gonna combine! Row, row, fight the power! I'm still kinda dizzy, though. So then... Perhaps you should rest here a while. I suppose... Yeah, good idea. Well then... The rest of us should get back to looking for that mystery assailant. Yes, indeed. 
indeed, before another victim appears. The justice hammers seem to be increasing in size. First one, and now two. So in other words... If there's a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it's even bigger than the first two. Oh! If you got hit with anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure! Hmm. Tell us what happened to you, Hifumi. Um... Well, I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. I went to the third floor, and that's where the strange costume man attacked me. Hmm... That must be what I witnessed at around 7 this morning. After that, he dragged me to the library, and whack! Down came the hammer. That must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago? Hmm. At around 7.30, in other words? We would have still been in the dining hall. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us. So we all have alibis. <laughs> I was in the laundry room, doing my laundry. Yes! His black underwear is as black as the pitch black darkness of the blackest night. What? Why do you know that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Because I was peeking. Anyway, so that means Byakuya and Toko were together at the time. Meaning they also have alibis. Then the only ones who don't have alibis for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked are... The only two we haven't seen yet. Hiro and Taka. That's it, right? Very strange. By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Um... Oh yeah, she was supposed to be checking the second floor, but I didn't see her up there at all. Ugh. Where could she have disappeared to? Hmm. She crazy crazy? She is crazy crazy. She, dis she disappeared, huh? <clears throat> what a strange woman. So that's it. She might be exactly as I suspected. H hold on! Kyoko was with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked, so... You tried organizing puzzle pieces and accidentally started making art? Hold up, guys, we're gonna check on the puzzle. Let me reconnect. Wait for the ad to play. God, I hate this thing. I love these puzzles! It would be so much better if I could find, like, an ad-free version. Like, I would pay to get us an ad-free version of, like, a puzzle thing like this. Uh, let's see. Two, one. You're going to be honest, wing it? What? You started making art? Uh, is it supposed to be like flowery? You have yet to get a single ad? Are you kidding? You must have an ad blocker or something on your computer wing it. Anywho. There should definitely still be puzzle to do after stream. Hm. I'm not talking about who attacked them. Oh, see, I don't know any of the Ultra Beasts! <gasps> Guys, I really have to start playing Pokemon Moon, Sun, Ultra, something. I don't even know. Huh? In other words... I'm referring about what we talked about last night. Who the Mastermind spy might be. Are you saying Kyoko's working with the Mastermind? That's not possible! What? Isn't it? Man, if you were there, it'd be done. <laughs> this woman, who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies, hasn't even revealed her, tr her true identity. Hey! Save this discussion for later. Right now, we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Okay! Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's only gonna be more victims! That might be why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. She, she's right. We have to do something about that mystery man first. Um. Don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest for a bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Well then. Okay, let's go.
Hmm. So, whoever that is running around, why are they wearing that weird costume? <laughs> Don't bother looking for a reason from a deviant. What to do? What to so, do? So, what are we gonna do? Split up and look around? <gasps> Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of, even here. What? What's wrong? Okay. I saw a shadow. Something moving around at the top of the stairs. Huh? Really? Uh, Up on the second floor, then. Damn. You bastard, you won't get away from me! We all shot towards the stairs. Okay. He must be around here somewhere. Let's split up and corner him. Well. But don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out and I'll come running. Oh. Okay. But what should we yell? Just a second. Anything. It doesn't matter. So then. Then is ha. Okay. What are you saying? Ha or do ya or whatever you want. Just yell out enough that we can hear you. <laughs> do ya? I have never heard such a reaction. Okay, whatever. Just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go! <laughs> hey, Mr. Robot! Where are you hiding? If you don't come out, we're gonna decommission ya! We spread out in every direction to track down the costume suspect. Gondorfin? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ganondorfin. Lockers. Well, I would expect to see that at any normal pool. Yep. That strange cry. That had to be Celeste. It came from the floor above. She's on the third floor. I sprinted up to the third floor. Everyone. Over here, everyone. Everyone who heard the scream had come running. Just a second. Celeste, what's wrong? What? That was rather intense screaming for someone like you. <laughs> I saw him, the strange costumed man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. He was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down the hallway and disappeared. He must be down the hall. He must be down this hall. Come on, let's go. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> what is it now? Uh-huh. Huh? Whoa, it's really true. But that doesn't matter right now. Huh? Huh? What, what was that? <laughs> that came from downstairs. It must have been... Hifumi, he's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. What? What about the suspect? We've gone all through all this trouble to capture it, right? Hmm. Then why don't we split into two groups? It's all clear now. I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. So then... Very well. Then Makoto and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. That scream was from the heart? Jeez, yeah. You swear there would be coins to be found here? Um, so we're still in the chapter. It it's fine. So then. We'll handle it. Just go take care of Hifumi. Okay, you guys be careful. With that, we split into two groups. Me, Celeste, and Hina all ran downstairs to the first floor. Just a second! He's in the nurse's office! Let's go! We stormed into the nurse's office, and what greeted us was... A world drip of dripping crimson. Everything was covered in red. 
And in the center of all this red was... Ifumi? No! Ah! What, what It the... looks like something very bad has happened. I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that Hifumi <laughs> would be murdered. No way! Uh, murdered? You're not serious, are you? He's not really dead, is he? Celeste can run in those heels? I mean, if you wear heels like that all the time. A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! What the? <laughs> that was the body discovery announcement. The body discovery announcement. When three or more people discover a body after a murder, that's what plays. And since we just heard it, that means... <sighs> it must mean... Ifumi. Someone killed him. One of us. One of us? <sighs> and look at that. When Celeste said that, she pointed to something. Something on the floor. Something that had also been on the floor after the last two surprise attacks. Another hammer. Justice Hammer 3. And it's even bigger than the other two. Just as I suspected. One strike from that, and you are finished. Then the killer. There can be no doubt, the suspicious individual. Going by what Hifumi called going by what Hifumi called him, the culprit must have been Robo Justice. Whoever's hiding in that costume is the one that killed Hifumi. But wait. You saw him on the third floor, right? Running back into the hall. So how did he end up in the nurse's office? You're not saying they like teleported or something, right? Are you okay with this? We can figure out that part later. Right now, we have to tell the others. I you're right. So then... Then, shall we go? <sighs> Hina, snap out of it. Huh? Are you okay, Hina? Sorry. S sorry. I'm not sure I can move right now. I'm feeling kinda... Hmm. This is a problem. We can't just leave Hina here alone. Okay, then I'll go get everyone. You stay here with Hina. <sighs> Very well. I leave it to you then. Okay, I'll be back soon. I tried to sound confident and upbeat, but I still hadn't stopped trembling from what I'd just been through. Everyone else is already on the third floor. I have to hurry. This is where everyone was chasing after the suspicious individual. Where was he headed? Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I, I saw him, the strange costumed man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further into the hallway and then disappeared. You're so glad you made it, Eviolite. You did, you just made the tail end of it. He ran off, going further down the hallway. Way back in to the back of the hallway? How are you doing tonight, Eviolite? As far as I can tell, there's nobody here. But still, I feel some kind of presence. Yeah, I'm sure I can feel someone's presence. This presence. Is it coming from over there, in the back? You just spent maybe an hour cleaning a kitchen. Thankfully, you snuck your phone in class. So now you're just watching this on lunch? I feel it. I left through the doorway. And when I did, I found another nightmare. The second nightmare of the day was waiting there to greet me. There, in a pool of his own blood, was Taka, dead.
Alrighty, guys. <laughs> glad this fuck died. Jeez, Allo. Honestly, I'm kind of glad that I don't have to do that voice anymore. That's all I'm gonna say on the topic. His voice is definitely one of the harder ones on my throat. Both of them actually are some of the harder ones. <clears throat> Alright. Well, that is actually where we are ending the stream. <laughs> um. Hold on. It won't let me. Okay. I've got to wait until I can get to a save point. So, Hifumi's body discovered in the nurse's office. Oh, maybe if I was actually in the game. And Taka's body discovered in the equipment room. Yeah, we're, we're going to do a little raid. Make sure that's saved. Um... Cliffhanger, you like it? Yeah, well, we usually... We end after we find the bodies. And then we do the trial the next week. I, I don't have time to do all the examining. Um, so we'll save all that for next week. Um, like I said, I will be doing the puzzle um, with anybody that wants to hang out for a little bit. I probably can't stay as long as I normally do. But... Um, we can go for a little bit. Let's see who we are rating. Um. Mm -hmm -hmm. You're still here, meow. It was probably a good stream. It was. Um, we got a little bit carried away with ourselves. Uh, we hit 300 subscribers tonight. Um. In fact, let's see. Clicking on me. We're oh, we're at exactly 300. We were at 301 for a minute there. I wonder if somebody uns. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, YouTube was glitchy for most of the night, so it, it was definitely, you know, interesting. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, you know what? Yeah, we are going to go... Over here, I think. Uh, but, um... Okay. Everybody ready? We're gonna go check out some Final Fantasy VII. So I hope to see you all over there. We're going to see Frosty Lemon. And until next time, I'll catch y'all in the Discord. Bye!